Okay guys, and we are here at Wreckage Retro for week four here as the Wreckage GM Justin is making his way down to the ring. I guess he's got a few things to get off his chest for saying, um, I don't see the white suit anymore. That suit was ridiculous, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I guess his little time with Gold Money Incorporated is over. I mean, uh, can you really blame him though with how much money Greg Murphy has to throw around? I mean, he signed people like Doug Cho to his shitty faction. You know, I mean, it doesn't really surprise me that he would pay the GM money to, uh, you know, kind of have him in his pocket. They already did that with the SmackDown ref last week. So we will see here what Justin has to say to open record Retro Week 4. Welcome, everybody, back to Wednesday Night Wreckage. Tonight, after the building tension between Leon Blackgrave and Adam Page, they will be selecting each other's opponents tonight. But first, we've got a special match lined up, a locked-in match with the winner facing Chief Graham at Shangri-La. And one more thing. I've received an anonymous amount of money to have Max Fatal defend his title against Gold Money Incorporated. Doug show in a hardcore street fat fight match tonight after the locked in match enjoy you've got so Fatal will be defending his title later tonight folks but he's also in the locked in match from what I understand so Fatal is going to be forced to compete twice in a row here tonight which is just ridiculous and you know damn well based on that opponent who the fuck paid him the money to do that which I just think is preposterous Justin what do you have to say about that? Uh, you know, what I've got to say about that is, you know, I've noticed there's an empty chair next to me. Is there supposed to be somebody else here? Yeah, uh, the former boss and president, Lance, doesn't seem to be here. Apparently he canceled. Oh. Well, uh... Alrighty then. Yeah, I mean, based on what he said on SmackDown, I guess I can't be too surprised, but uh, nonetheless, maybe he's training to get ready for my brother to kick his ass. I don't know. But, um, what is up with this anonymous fucking. You just tried to avoid that question. <laughs> this is the anonymous tip. And I'm putting anonymous in quotes. Uh. I mean, a large amount of money just appeared on my desk one day. Yeah, and, and we know exactly where that came from. But, uh, and Girl, yeah. you do? I don't. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll play blind if we want, but uh, Fatal making his way out to the ring here. You're setting up Fatal for failure. He has to compete twice in a row inside the steel cage, and then right afterwards, he has to defend the hardcore title. Let me get this straight. The hardcore title against the monster of Gold Money Incorporated, Douglas Show. Hey man, money talks. Yes, it does. And here tonight, we're going to have to see exactly what Fatal can do in this locked-in match. But, I mean, come on, a street fight? You don't... I mean, look at him. He's the king of hardcore. He should have no problem facing Doug Show tonight. I mean, and I'm not disagreeing with that, but back to back after the locked in match. Once again, the king of hardcore, right? Yeah, but you've got to realize that's a setup by Gold Money Incorporated. 
But I, 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 I guess we Okay, fatal. Luckily enough, I'm gonna get a pod at least. But uh, this is going yeah, to be a six-man locked in. It's not all bad. This is gonna be a six-man locked in match. Um, care to give some insight on the competitors so far in this match? You got Caleb Shaw, who is Lance's old buddy, and then you got Fatal, and now this son of a bitch. Yeah, Stug Show, uh, just a monster in the past on Wreckage. Uh, it's gonna be dominant here tonight inside this uh, locked-in match. You gotta take he has his eyes set on Max Fatal to weaken him before his title match. Yeah, like this this could end up being very bad for Fatal if Doug Show decides to target him. Because you've got to take into consideration the amount of matches Fatal had over this past final chapter. He's competed twice now uh, in situations where he fought two nights or two two times in one night. And now you're doing it to him again, but this time he has to compete back to back. He hasn't had to do that yet. Well, we put him to the test. Yeah, what's the chances that Fatal actually walks out with that hardcore title? I mean, if, if you look at the bright side, it's a huge opportunity. If he wins locked in, he could face Chief Graham for the U.S. title as well at Shanger Law. So, there is that. Nothing to lose. Except for his hardcore title after this. And now out here comes the quick draw Colt Shields. We've seen he was dominant in week one. We haven't seen him since. Uh, Chief Graham, of course, won that fatal four-way. But uh, Colt Shields is arguably the most impressive in that match. It would be interesting to see Shields go on to face Graham. I think all four of these competitors so far are suitable opponents for the Chief. Colt making his way down to the ring here. Colt Shields, Douglas Show, Max Fatal, Caleb Shaw. Who do you give the advantage to so far on those four? No, I'm not too sure. Uh, they all seem to be pretty good in their own right. Um, if I had to pick somebody, I would have to say Doug Show. Well, yeah. Because of the, the, the sheer size factor. Nothing to do with the uh, amount of money I was paid. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> but uh, Cole Shields is making his way down to the ring here. Shields is no slouch either. He's a big guy as well. But Douglas true, Show, true. Just, he just towers over everyone. It's nuts. But, uh, I mean, maybe Doug shows on them Roy's uh, Xander Mercer takes. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Colt Shields making his way, oh, allegedly, I should say. Colt Shields makes his way into locked in here. He's going to get the final fourth pod. Um, Shields standing in at, what, 6'6", six, six, I think? Colt Shields is about 6'6". Six, six. Caleb Shaw, 6'7". Six, and then you got Doug Show, who's about 6'10", six, 6'11". Six, so, all three very tall competitors. There's just some big boys about to go at it. And then you've got Fatal standing over there in about 5'11". So he's giving up about a foot in height advantage to the rest of these competitors so far. Which, I would argue is going to be a disadvantage for Fatal, but this is a hardcore style match. And, as you stated, he is the king of hardcore, so... He yeah, you don't claim to be... You don't claim to be the king of hardcore if you can't handle it. Can't handle locked in. Of course, Fatal's been in a locked in previously. I believe he's the only competitor in this match to previously enter a locked in. So, so I take that into consideration, too. Fatal does have the experience advantage over Shields, Shaw, and Douglas Show. Jesus Christ, you see just the size advantage of Colt Shields and Doug Show, though, and Shields staring down Doug Show in his cage. Of course, Shields and Shaw former tag team partners, so take that into consideration, too, Forged in Pain. And just when you thought the competitors couldn't get any bigger, representing the Bennett Coalition, here's the Madman. Talk about Xander Mercer's baby cousin here, Max Mercer. And uh, I call him baby cousin because he's quite a bit younger, but this guy is no fucking... He's no toddler, I'll put it that way. He's standing in about 6'10 as well. 
So Mercer is going to be the closest to size up to Doug Show. So this should be interesting. And of course, as you're well aware, Justin, the rivalry between Vincent Bennett's coalition and Gold Money Incorporated is definitely there. Yes, it's definitely that definitely there. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this match. If you see Mercer eyeing down the competition. Yeah, I mean, I w <laughs> and the final entrant is the former oh. AWA executive, now a backstage producer. The final entrant in this match is the former UWA Universe champion, everyone's favorite superstar, as they say, Nitro. Yeah, I approached Nitro with this opportunity backstage about a week ago, and he wasn't shy to turn it down. And Nitro is a legend here in UWA. Maybe not the biggest superstar, maybe not the best, one of the fastest though. And he's definitely going to look to uh, wow the crowd here tonight. Uh, Nitro coming out of retirement here for this match. Of course, we've seen him on Raw Week 2 face Adam Page. Of course, you also instigated that when you called Adam Page a slouch and said he needed to compete more. So I guess it's safe to say you've got Nitro in your back pocket as well. Well, I mean, am I wrong about Adam Page being a slouch? She's trying to avoid any kind of competition. That is true. And speaking of Adam Page, of course, as I've just found out, you've booked a contract signing to close the night between Adam Page and Leon Blackgrave. You gotta make it official, baby. First ever UWA contract signing to close the show. That is going to be very interesting, and speaking of very interesting, Nitro is now realizing that he's going to have to start this match against <laughs> Madman Mercer, which is not going to be fun. <laughs> he's trying to fucking do oh, shit. God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, nice try, Nitro. That was a very valiant effort there from Nitro. As oh. Mercer's to the... What the fuck? Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> High-risk opportunity there. What? Have we? Why the hell would Mercer go to the top? Any theories I, of that? You know, uh, with the size of Mercer, I wouldn't have any clue. I would not be going up any higher than uh, the, the floor I'm standing on if I was that size. And now Nitro quickly to the top. Douglas Show is the next entrant into this match. So the big boy's Good in show. now, and uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Nitro... Nitro, this is what I'm talking about. Nitro's a UWA legend. Oh. You can't count him out. And what the fuck is he doing? Okay, that works. <laughs> Nitro doing some lucha over here. Yeah. And Mercer looking to fight him off. We get our next opponent entering the ring. Oh, um, perfect. Out comes the king. King of hardcore. Fatal is entry number four in this match. And, oh, double suplex to Mercer there. Interesting take, and now, oh, Fatal Ooh. going after Nitro. All right. Got to assume Fatal decided to pick the smallest guy in the match, which is smart. Let the two big guys fight each other. I mean, Fatal's not necessarily a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's just a smart wrestler. And right there, Mercer I mean, going to... He is going after Mercer. I wouldn't call him small. Yeah, uh, that is a fair point. Um... If yeah, he was going after someone his own size, that would be Nitro. But nonetheless, he's taking it to Mercer here. Yeah, Colt Shields, of course, the fifth entry in this match, which means Caleb Shaw is going to be the last entry in this match. The man that came out first will be the last entry. And he is about to make his way into the ring. I mean, really, in a locked-in match, it gives you a few extra seconds in the pod, but it really doesn't make much of a difference, which yeah, I just appreciate. Like that. And just like that, all the... Uh, entrance are in the ring yeah I'm not sure what Shaw's doing Shaw kind of just feeling out the competition it looks like now what is Fatal up oh that right there oh. shades of Cody Rhodes there at the crossroads one of Fatal's longtime rivals in the tag division and now what the oh that Ooh. works interesting Fatal not even going for the cover on Nitro there yeah I mean he probably should have you see how he spiked Nitro on his head that oh, was oh a, god Pretty brutal. Now we're seeing a King Sword here from Fatal. I'm not sure what Shaw's doing. She just chucked him in. Oh, Jesus, look at... Oh! 
<laughs> you see that power from Colt Shields? That's what I'm he talking just, about. He threw the big, probably the biggest man in this match, right into the air, and slammed him with a suplex. That's exactly why I like Colt Shields. And now look, forged in pain. Uh -oh. They're look to work together to take out Doug Show. That's very smart if you're forged in pain. But Sean gonna turn his tides to Nitro. Uh, that's probably just say that's a lifesaver for Doug Show. Oh, fatal, fatal. Oh, oh kicks out. Fatal almost out there, and now Doug Show throwing shields into the pod, and now a big elbow drop. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, watch the ring. Wait, oh. See, Fatal, Fatal was saved right there because Nitro was going in for the cover on Shaw, but uh, Mercer just arrogant as fuck. Uh, this is not looking good right now for Fatal. Well, um, you got to think the mindset of Fatal right now. If he if he gets to the uh, the end of this match and he wins, he gets a chance at the U.S. title. Yeah, wins a winner there but, from Fatal. Oh God! And for the cover, sorry to cut you off, but a Fatal hitting a big move there. The wins of winner. What were you saying? If he gets to the end of this match, he gets to fight for the U.S. title. But it wouldn't be so bad if he gets out early so he could defend his uh, hardcore title. Yeah, check oh. that oh, Sky Reaper. Shaw could be, or what the fuck is Shaw oh. doing on the cage? Oh Look my up. god. Shaw off the cage! Oh my god! <laughs> Shaw just. Leaping off the. Jesus. <laughs> Caleb Shaw just trying to prove a point here on wreckage, and uh, he just destroyed Nitro with that. Now, what the fuck is he doing to Nitro now? Oh! <laughs> oh man. Face first into the pod. There's a lot going on right now. A shot into the cover on Nitro. Oh god, Hellfire and Brimstone coming from Cold oh. Shields. And I, I think Doug Show's laid out Fatal as well. It looks like Fatal could be out of here. Oh. Oh, just barely. He does that later. He takes the hardcore title. He can pin him with that. And now right That's there, you've right. seen the uh, red back revolver from Colt Shields and Mercer almost oh, out. Man. You know damn well who Ben's pulling for in this match. <laughs> Absolutely. He'd love for his client to get a victory here. And now it looks like Forged in Pain trying to work over Nitro, but Nitro fighting him off. Of course, like I said, take into account Caleb Shaw. Colt Shields used to be former tag team partners. So they are going to look to utilize that uh -oh. um, familiarity. Ooh. Nitro looked like he got the brunt of that landing on the ropes. Yeah, Nitro, uh, that, that Lucha-style offense isn't always uh, the best thing to do, you know, because sometimes you can hurt yourself doing it. Now Fatal, Fatal looking for that cross face on Shaw, Shaw able to avoid it. Could have been disastrous for Fatal, and that, oh, uh, uh -oh. still might be F10. Oh, and he lands his neck right across the bottom rope there into the cover, one. Two, a and Fatal is out of here. Fatal's the first eliminated. That is not good. That land, that landing for Fatal in that bottom rope, I think, is what caused that. Yeah, look at him. He's taking his time getting out of the ring. That is not good. And he's going to have to defend the hardcore title right after this, too, thanks to someone's anonymous tip, which we know exactly who that is. I'm not going to say any names, but it's pretty obvious that Gold Money Incorporated are pulling some strings here. You think oh. it was Gold Money? Who else would it be? The fucking million dollar man? <laughs> Ted DiBiase <laughs> pay you money? It's probably I mean, Virgil's that fuck money. Anybody's got money. It's Virgil. It's Virgil's fuck money. You know, I didn't take a good look at the, the money. It could be fuck money. Yeah, oh, and Doug Show about to get another elimination on oh. Shaw there, but a kick out. Uh, luckily enough for Shaw's sake, and now here we're seeing the matchup we all want to see, which is Mercer taking it to Doug Show. Nice move there from Mercer, but it was broken up by a Colt Shields from behind. That's the thing in this type of match. You've got to watch out because there's so many other competitors in this that could break up your moves. Or attack you from behind, as you're seeing there. Absolutely. I feel bad for the ref. He's got to try and or keep up with what's going on here. These pinfalls and whatnot. Yeah, I guess Mr. Chowie's vision wasn't the best, so we didn't keep him out here. It's Mr. Muscles for this match. It's good to have Mr. Muscles back, because uh, I, I, I missed having him on... Yeah, I guess. 
missed having I mean, him Mr. on Mayhem. I mean, Mr. Chowie's better. Let's be real. Well, yeah, that's because you're saying that because he was the wreckage uh, referee. And he did stick around after wreckage and mayhem ended. Well, it's just because Mr. Muscles wanted to spend some time with his son, you know. Oh, and right there, uh, a big brain buster, kind of like Mr. Cena did. Well, that's the oh, story. Oh, God! <laughs> One Shaw. super kick knocks two people down. Caleb, oh. Sh Caleb Shaw so showing some uh, grit here and determination in this match. I mean, I think he's going to win over the crowd if he keeps it up. Are we about to see a 6-1 Nitro? Inside locked in? Oh, no he's fucking calling way. For it. Oh, and oh. Uh, they just, people got in the way. I, we're about to see a 6-1 Nitro inside locked in. That would have been nuts. <laughs> but, uh, and Nitro in trouble here, but Mercer breaking it up for some reason. Um, right there, chops yeah, in the corner odd. by Shields. Well, I mean, the only thing I can think of is taking into account um, Shaw and Mercer do have history together. Shaw was challenging Mercer for his title uh, back a few, back about a year ago for that Pure Mayhem Championship. So uh, they do have a bit of heat before, but I thought that was kind of, uh, you know, I kind I thought that it kind of went cold at this point because that was ages uh, ago, but apparently not. Oh, the Shields busted open there. Colt bleeding now is a quick draw. Oh gosh, Sean just got his head uh -oh. caved in. The top row looking for the leg drop. Oh, <laughs> Mercer. Mercer not letting it happen. That's Doug everyone's Show favorite planting. move. Shaw. Shaw, Shaw's out. No. Oh. Oh, just barely holds on. Douglas Show is doing some serious damage in this match. If you've noticed, uh, he's uh, putting some beating on. He's putting a beating on pretty much everyone in this match. With Nitro being in retirement, he's he's got a pretty good showing right now. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Bad move. Bad move. Bad move. Oh. <laughs> Power ball. He was looking to set up the six-one Nitro again. Yeah, that didn't work out in his favor though. Mercer. Ooh. Was almost. And you got to take into consideration the only person who's been eliminated so far is Fatal, and he got he got thrown on and he got thrown on his head in a bad way by Shaw. Well, you got to think, it, that's probably not such a bad thing. He's got time to re recuperate for his uh, hardcore title match right a after this. Oh, and Nitro. Eliminated. Nitro's out by Shaw as well. Shaw with two eliminations so far. And oh, he just decked. Oh, God. He just decked Doug Show. No. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, he's going to eliminate Show now as well. Doug Show's in trouble. Shaw with that sleeper hold Can on. He hold on? And he's tapping. He's submitting there. Doug Show is out as well. Oh, oh my fuck. God! <laughs> Shaw is clearing the competition here in this match. I mean, were you expecting this? Uh, I mean, not necessarily. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting Mercer to be the one to potentially eliminate Doug Show. I thought Doug Show was the favorite to win this thing, but uh, Shaw submitted him. I guess uh, Doug Show wanting to save up his uh, strength to beat Fatal later. No, well, they both have time to recuperate for their match. It's going to be right after this too, and uh, Mercer, you see, he's kind of in a two-on-one predicament now because Shaw and Shields, like I said, are former buddies, and they're likely going to work together here. And that's exact. Oh, hold that thought, Shaw. Oh, Shaw one saying two. no. He had the one-two punch combo there from Shaw. Shaw oh. saying no, he's in this for himself. Hey, look, Which Shaw. of these three competitors will face Chief Graham? And it looks like Shaw is going to make him tap. Mercer oh, got but... out. Mercer got out. Shaw going to cover him though anyway. And no, Mercer not uh -oh. out yet. Mercer's former Pure Mayhem champion. You can't take nothing away from the big man here. I was about to say big guy, but that's someone else. Oh, speaking <laughs> of big guy, just flattening. Oh, oh! Shit! Shields just knocked Mercer's lights out there with that big boot. And that's right there. Shades of freaking... Holy crap, that was a two count. Shades of like Sid Vicious there with that big boot. And now Colt Shields lifting him up. He's looking for that red uh -oh. back revolver to seal the deal. Oh! Mercer could be out here. And a that is it. He's out. It's down oh, to Sean man. Shields. You see the blood trickling down the face of Colt Shields. 
Caleb Shaw definitely has the advantage here, uh, given everyone he's eliminated in this match. Shields now with one elimination, and Shaw about to make it four, but Shields kicks out. Shaw back. Oh, damn. Oh. That, was a, that was a rough clothesline there for Shaw. And now Colt. What is Colt doing? Oh, got. Oh, and head first oh. off the ring post goes Caleb Shaw there. Head first into the ring post. There's a brutal clothesline right before that. And now Shaw, Shields just pressing in on Shaw here. Shields kind of just, man, Shaw's, Shaw's not even able to defend himself right now. Shields is kind of just walking through him. Yeah, in for the cover now here. Two and three. Wow. Okay, Shields just, I, I don't know what happened there to Shaw, but uh, Shaw didn't really, he didn't have much uh, fight in him there at the end. But uh, Shields win that in a weird fashion, but uh, I mean, someone might want to check on Shaw. I don't know what the fuck. After that clothesline, Shaw wasn't... I mean, he didn't even defend himself, if you noticed that. I mean, Shields kind of just ran through him there at the end. And, uh... Colt's now going on to face Chief Graham at Showdown Shangri-La. Congrats uh, to Shields. Look at his freaking face. But uh, I, I almost feel like Shaw was robbed there. I don't know exactly what happened to him. I, I think about well, that landing on that clothesline, if you notice, was a little bad. But now we're getting the screen graphic. It's now official United States Championship match. Colt Shields, Chief Graham, U.S. title. The following contest is scheduled for... Now we're moving on to this shit. It is for the um, Hardcore titles on the line. We just seen Fatal's head bounce off that rope really badly. I don't know what type of condition Fatal's going to be in for this match. Um, and you've got to assume Doug shows damn near fresh, considering not a whole lot happened to him in that match. He tapped out pretty quickly too. I think it's pretty obvious. Justin Shaw's got our show. He's got one goal here tonight, and that is to take that hardcore title from Fatal. That's, that's the ultimate goal for Doug's show here. Looking to bring some more gold, or I should, should I say silver, to uh, Gold Money Incorporated here tonight. Yeah, um, Fatal's basically been thorn number one on the side of Gold Money Incorporated. So it doesn't surprise me that they want Fatal taken out. I mean, you think back, uh, way back to the starting, uh, Fatal... I mean, they attacked Fatal's family backstage, so you really blame him for wanting to kill Gold Money Incorporated. I mean, that figuratively, probably not literally. I say probably because he is the king of hardcore. But, uh, I mean, we've seen what happened on Raw. You attack his brother, you attack his uncle, and you attack his girlfriend, and you expect him not to do anything. I mean, like, come on. That Gold Money Incorporated put themselves in that predicament. And they made well. interviews of Bobby Wade, Delson Hollow, everyone else, all the other top competitors in UWA they've made enemies out of. So, the way Gold Money Incorporated has, have ran themselves here so far is really dumb, in my opinion. But... But it's gotten them to the top, hasn't it? More or it's less, getting people, I mean, It's getting people talking about them, which is what's important. Greg Murphy, um, of course, is going to be challenging Bobby Wade for that Universe Championship since they won on SmackDown. Uh, definitely wasn't fair using uh, the SmackDown ref's shitty freaking ref tactics for their advantage. But uh, nonetheless, Gold Money Gregory Murphy has that opportunity now, as well as Doug Show technically still have a fixed opportunity against Chief Graham at some point for that U.S. title. But we now know Colt Shields will be facing him at Shangri-La. So at some point, Doug Show still has that number one contendership as well, since both Chief Graham and Bobby Wade were defeated inside the cage. Well, Fatal has his opportunity here now to seek his revenge on Doug Show. Can he pull it off? Introducing the challenger from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 
414 pounds, Douglas Shane. And introducing the champion from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 240 pounds. He is the Universal Wrestling Alliance Hardcore Champion, Max Felt L. They were showing some damage that taped up shoulder too, I might want to add. Um, obviously that was probably from the landing on the rope there. He could have torn something in his shoulder. I mean, he could have broken his shoulder blade for all we know. But uh, nonetheless, Fatal going to defend his Hardcore Championship here tonight as the second bout on this card. This is ridiculous. Of course, Fatal's still in the same ring gear as earlier. And now we're going to get this underway here. Doug Show picking him up immediately. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, gosh. Doug Show looking to make short work of Fatal here tonight. I mean, just look at those strikes, man. Fatal fighting him off here. Fatal obviously is going to have to try to chop down Doug Show and show. Oh, no, no, no. You got to watch that neck. Oh, there a counter punch from Fatal. Fatal hitting him back with a chop. Shoves off. Oh, my Doug gosh. Show. Doug Show is just a tree. Oh. oh. <laughs> there we go. Apparently, Fatal's a lumberjack tonight. And right there, a leg drop, and now another one across the throat. Get him while he's down, I guess. And now triangle choke applied by Fatal. Fatal's going to try, try to look to submit him. That's smart. He must have been watching. Uh, obviously, Shaw had that damage uh, applied to uh, Doug Show's neck, obviously, from that submission hold. And Fatal That's taking right. note of that here. Targeting the neck. And we're going to look oh, for some blunt the force trauma. Right there from Fatal, and now looking for a neck breaker as well. Of course, that's shades of one of his uh, favorites, uh, Eli Drake. And right there, going after the arm of Doug Show there is Fatal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fatal now lifts him up, back fist. Uh, a couple shots. What the hell? What the? Oh! <laughs> Shit, Douglas Show just got kneed right in the nose there from Fatal, and Fatal to the middle rope now. Oh, and an elbow drop across the throat. No, oh, ooh, nice dodge there. That was, that was wicked, and now uh, Show with a counter. And now Douglas Show in control, though, on Fatal. Oh, oh God. Oh. Looked like he got him right in the collarbone. Jesus, Fatal like grabbing his arm, shoulder, everything there at that point. He chopped the piss out of him. And now, wait, big wait. Ass. <laughs> Twist oh. Fatal on the floor. That was a big ass chop. But now, yeah. weapons here on the outside. Oh! <laughs> show. Oh my god! Douglas Show. You pissed off the giant. Oh, the Fatal just accidentally chopped the ring post there, too. That's He's gonna oh. break a hand with that crap. And now, <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, well, that's what you get when you step in the ring in a hardcore stipulation. Oh, just, <laughs> just snapped it over his back. And that's that's uh, that's definitely that's definitely right up Fatal's playbook oh. right there. And now another one. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, well, keep in mind, Doug Show asked for this. Jesus! <laughs> it was another one. That's another one. And the crowd fully behind Fatal after that. And now look at those strikes and a knee lift. Oh. Sends Show back into the barrack. Oh, no. Show, show is not falling to the ground here after those strikes. Yeah, and he's looking for a weapon, but Fatal's saying no, bitch. Oh, uh, and he right to the arm. And now, oh, no. Not oh, God. Oh. oh! Face crippled into the barricade. That's old school Fatal. And now right into the vice hold. Uh-oh. Why does it have to be a snake anaconda vice hold here in by Fatal on Douglas Show? And he's going to look to make Show submit, that son of a bitch. Tap him what out. What are the rules here? Are, is, can they submit on the outside? No, no. A street fight's only in the ring, but Fatal seems to not care. And now... What? Oh, God. Oh, well, it's What's been a doing? minute. It's been a minute since he's done something like that. Oh! <laughs> 
that just shows you how much this match, that how much that hardcore title means to Fatal. I mean, that's basically his entire career right there. That hardcore title is, and now Douglas Show counters with a jawbreaker and a oh. clothesline. You think back in the very st Jesus. Oh, another slap. Think back to the very starting fatal, uh, back to the starting, didn't really win much back in UWA, clear back at, at the starting, uh, he didn't really find himself until he found that hardcore championship, so of course fatal wants to, nothing more than to retain that title, oh, oh my god, fuck, the, what is this, what the, oh, oh my god, Jesus Christ, well I think he's gonna get a weapon now, I think Fatal is, oh god. Oh. oh! You know, it, this is very concerning for Fatal. Yeah, Fatal able to, oh god, back fist right to the face, and now setting up for something here. Uh-oh. Oh, trying to chop him down, but Doug Show staying on his feet. Oh, Ooh, big neck breaker. It's like an inverted style twist of Fatal, and now hitting another neck breaker. Fatal, uh, I don't know, I would probably bring it back in the ring if I were him. Because, I mean, I don't know. When he has the advantage, it's best to be in the ring. But if he's at a disadvantage, being on the outside could be the key to keeping the title. Fatal uh, fired up here. Douglas Show grabs the chair. And uh -oh. What the hell? Another one. And Show's still on his feet. Oh, nice block there. Yeah, I mean, uh, me much, matter. but <laughs> oh god! Oh. oh, he's first off the ring post. Now Doug Show just choking him out here in the corner. This is definitely the most trouble Fatal's hardcore title's been in yet. This final chapter. Oh, uh, and Douglas Show now working over the ankle there of Fatal. Oh no! Makes not you the wonder. Cheer. Has has Fatal fought anyone ever like? the size of Doug's show. Um, the only other person that's anywhere close to hold that thought, King Sword. King oh. Sword from Fatal. The, like only, some... the only person in UWA that's the same size as Doug's show is Xander Mercer, and Fatal has actually never fought Xander, so that is a no. Fatal has never fought anyone the size of Douglas show, and right now the triangle choke is back in. Fatal trying to wear down the big man. And, oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh no, he, this is not this good. Could, this could spell disaster for Fatal here. Douglas Show trying to pull out his inner Judas with the walls of Jericho, but uh, Fatal able to fight out of it. Shouts out to the Holiday Champion, if that's still a thing. Now, oh gosh. <laughs> uh, mixes the forearm there, it's Fatal. Douglas Show in control. Oh, hold that thought. Fatal. And I look for this again, and this time finally gets oh. him off his feet. And this has been such a climb for Fatal while Doug Show's going downhill, if that makes any sense in wrestling terms. And right there, a leg drop across the throat, and now looking for another. Oh. Those rapid fire leg drops. Fatal's obviously got to keep the speed up, because that's how he defeats Doug Show. And see those vicious Benoit like chops, too. Now if Fatal, all Fatal's been through in this match, I mean, he's not slowing down at all. No, I mean... He's keeping the pace going. This is personal. This is as personal as it gets. And right there, knees to the rib cage Jesus. there, Fatal. Doug just chalking him across the ring. Douglas Show looking for something big here, I would assume. And maybe not. Wait, wait a minute, oh. wait a minute. Oh, oh God. My God. Oh! Sends him to the, straight to the outside with that power bomb. That is just sick. And now Fatal be able to hey. get back up. Counters, luckily enough, for his sake. Oh, and what is he? Oh, we seen this earlier. Oh, <laughs> oh! Just contorting the body of Doug Show there. And now back into the vice. The vice hold again. Fatal relentless with the submission holds. You gotta do it in the ring, Fatal, if you want to win. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if Fatal's thinking straight right now. You see he's busted open, there's blood pouring out of the head. We've seen earlier inside Locked In what happened. 
And now Fatal looking for something here, another BFT. And the King I don't of think Fatal is worried about winning. Not at this moment, no. He might be he might be worried about trying to kill Doug Show. And now well Doug Show might be thinking the same thing. Oh. This match has been brutal so far. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's Doug he gonna just... do here? <laughs> oh Good you Lord. Know, normally that move is bad enough, but when it's coming from someone that height, I mean Oh God, Fatal from behind now. Doug Show in trouble, potentially. Fatal chopping him here. <laughs> oh! Big super kick. Now, what are we getting here? Oh God. Well, this is... This is uh, not good at all for Doug Show. I'll tell you what, this is quite the show. Yeah, we had the locked in and now right into the hardcore street fight still to come. Black Brave picks Paige's opponent. Paige picks Black Brave's. The ones Paige can't uh, be a slouch here oh, tonight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh! Splash right through the table. Taking out Doug Show. Spino's got to get him up and into the ring. Oh, back into the vice. Vice hold again. Fatal, I mean, he can't tap him out here, but you know what he can do, Justin? If he incapacitates Doug Show, he could pin him. Maybe that's the mindset here. Oh. Well, there goes that momentum. Uh, Doug Show just caved in Fatal's chest and now just staring at him down here on the floor as Douglas Show just... Oh. That was a nasty boot, too. Yeah, well, we know exactly what Doug Show's thinking now. He just keeps throwing Fatal into the freaking table. We've seen James Falcon do this on SmackDown, or I oh should say God. James Darnell. And now Doug Show looking to do it the same. Oh, God, oh, not Jesus. again. <laughs> oh. Something's got to give, man. To another table, this time Fatal, the recipient of a table. Uh-oh. And now you see Doug with the stick. Wait. Sending it into the ring. Doug Show, uh, not exactly sure what he's doing here. He's looking to fill up the ring with weapons, it seems. Fatal now looking into the ring as well. Doug Show. Uh oh. Fatal's got a stop sign. <laughs> oh boy, and these two running at each other. <laughs> oh! Fatal just too slow. Guess Kindle Stick beats Stop Sign, it's a new version of Rock, Paper, Scissors. But uh, now now Doug Show going into the ring. You want to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, Kindo Stick, uh, Stop uh -oh. Sign with me later? And right there, Fatal picking up the Stop Sign again. Uh, not Notice how that stick rolled to the outside, leaving Show without a weapon. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus. You know, I think Chowie kind of kicked it over there. I mean, I'm definitely not going to complain about that. And now right there, a chop, and now a chop back. The chop is... Oh, my God! Doug what Show. a beatdown these two are putting on. Yeah, this is... Uh, God, Fatal almost getting hooked up on the ring post there. Just see the sheer size of Doug Show on display here. It's nuts. Now, Doug looking for something big. Douglas Show, Wait, oh no. What's oh. Up? oh god. Oh, that was uh, not a uh, pretty traditional. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck, that one hurt me. And now uh, right into the uh, walls of Jericho again on the floor. Douglas Show trying to break the spine of Fatal. Don't forget Fatal used to have back issues. So oh, he's just wrenching on it there. That into consideration, Doug Show could break Fatal Spine. That would be a career changing injury there if that were to happen. Career ending injury. Oh, and now a Kendo stick. Oh, Jesus. And now Fatal coming back with it. Oh, across oh. the spine. How many Kendo sticks have they broken in this damn match? I think that's four I don't know, or five. but I think we're running out. 
You would think that Doug's show is freaking knocked loopy at this point. Look at that Doug's show is freaking dazed. And uh oh. Uh -oh. Fatal. We're gonna oh. put a stop to this. <laughs> oh. Damn, he just did that fucking stop sign over Doug's show's back. Well, Kendo Stick beats stop sign, stop sign beats back. And now <laughs> Fatal. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh, wait. Sky Reaper. Oh. Fatal somehow able to get Doug show up for a Sky Reaper. That was impressive. And now what is Fatal looking for something deadly here, I would assume. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! oh! <laughs> King soared into the stop sign. Jesus. Doug show and Fatal going back to that kendo stick. More importantly, we're back into the ring. Where now the match can finally... What? And the lights have went out. What the what's, hell is going what's on What's going here? on? The, the lights have went out. Oh, what? Oh, oh, no! It's... Oh, this, oh, geez. Come on. Really? That is Nick Richards of Gold Money Incorporated. Oh. Oh, no, to that injury on, too. Oh, wait a minute. On. Wait a minute. That is the what? music of the outlaw. Delson Hollow's here. Oh, shit. Hollow. And I don't oh. even need to talk about the history between these two. Delson Hollow with pure hatred for Nick Richards. And right there, the big rig lariat. Tribute to Mr. Brody Lee with the big rig lariat. And now Doug, er... Nick Richards in trouble. He just got educated. Delson Hollow taking it right to Nick Richards, even in this match out again for Fatal and Doug Show. Hollow taking it to Nick. And what the hell is Delson doing up here? Delson Hollow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Hollow just taking out Nick. And Fatal with the Kindle sticks across the head. Of, he just broke it over his head. Oh my god. And Fatal, what cross a face, cross face. The cross face is locked in on a bloody Douglas show and shows tapping. Cat. Wow. And yet again, Fatal was probably the match of the universe two weeks in a row. Holy crap. Um. Big, big, tri uh, big, uh, like, big respect there for Delson Hollow coming out and saving a Fatal here in this match. I mean, you know damn well if it weren't for Hollow right there, Fatal, I mean, in that two-on-one predicament, he was done for. Yeah, we would have had a new hardcore champion in Doug's show, but that didn't happen tonight. Greg Murphy may have a faction, a stable of mercenaries, but Fatal, Fatal has friends, people respect the King of Hardcore. And Murphy just realized that. Fatal, Hollow stay out here, man. Game. I want you to hear this. You're arguably my greatest rival throughout my career, which ended up giving me great respect for you, as I know you have for me. And to be honest, what's happened to me as of late has me second-guessing my future in this business. But the last few weeks, I was talking to my dad in the hospital bed, and I made a vow to him that I'd come back for two reasons. The first one, obviously, to avenge my father and put a beat on Nick Richards so bad that it would likely land me in prison. And reason two is to end my career on my own terms. I know you requested Nick Shangri-La. Now I'm asking you as a friend to include me in that match. I can't think of a better way to end my career than fighting against my friend for that hardcore championship. Now you know damn well I could cash in on my road to riches on you right now and likely take that title, but I respect you too damn much to do that. And I just helped you retain tonight, so you owe me, man. Put me in the match. I respect you too. I respect this company and I damn sure respect this title. Throughout my career here I've won seven championships. Five of those were with this very title. I'm the face of this fucking title and the king doesn't bow to no one. You want in my title match, you got it brother. And there we have it, Fatal accepting Hollow's request it will be a triple threat for the hardcore championship at Shangri-La.
Dolson wow. sticking his... Oh, and by the way, D, before you go, you know last time you fought me for this title and I beat you. It was the ultimate match. It was three stages of hell. And I'll be damned if I retire this title any other way. So at Shangri-La, me versus you versus Dick Richards in three stages of hell, part three. We're gonna turn Shangri-La into the devil's playground. Yeah, and there we have it. It is not only a triple threat for the hardcore title, but it is a three stages of hell match. Emphasis on the three. The point of, I, I get what you're pointing out there. The concept of three stages of hell is basically three matches in one. Not to mention there's three competitors in that as well. That's going to be the first time ever that we've done a three stages of hell in a triple threat format. Now, you you might have noticed you've seen somebody pretty familiar in the ring already. <laughs> yes, where are you going with this? Um, we needed, uh, we put out an application to the local city, and we got, uh, UWA alumni in the ring. Alumni? <laughs> yeah, yeah, alumni. Bryson Blade making his return to go one-on-one -on -one with the executioner, Xander Mercer. One-on-one. -on -one. This is going to be a death match for uh, Bryson Blade. But, uh, I, I, I consider it an opportunity. An opportunity to die, yeah. An opportunity to die for a oh, Bryson you Blade. You think he's gonna die? Oh, yeah. Did, I, did I make die. a mistake? No, no, it's okay. I mean, I think we have the insurance for it. But, yeah. uh, nonetheless, uh, Xander Mercer versus Bryson Blade. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Bryson, uh, yeah, okay, he's... <laughs> Bryson Blade's oh. like, uh... I think he's having second to guesses now at this point. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm just gonna look away. I think I'm. I think I'm having <laughs> second guesses here. Uh, yeah. Xander Mercer now picking Bryson Blade up from the ground. Um, you know damn well this isn't gonna end well. Um, how, how much and, does uh, Xander press? Uh, probably, probably Bryson Blade's car. But, um, oh. nonetheless, and yeah, now Xander Mercer gonna send Bryce out. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Hey, can, can we get the ambulance on standby? Yeah, I think we yeah? already need okay, it thanks. now. Yeah, that's... Okay, you, you call for it. <laughs> yeah, I got it, don't worry. Okay, yeah. I, <laughs> you, you might want to get a casket, too, just in case. Uh, but, uh, can, Xander, can we get some good lawyers, too? Huh? Yeah, that... Yeah? All right, yeah. Okay. Preferably not David Otunga. But uh, nonetheless, uh, now it's Andrew Mercer out of the corner. Huge splash. Uh, that'll be the only David Otunga reference on this uh, broadcast. Sorry in advance. No more David Otunga. <laughs> and now uh, Xander Mercer sends Bryson uh, Blade out to the floor. Uh, um, What's he doing here? <laughs> Anything he wants, I guess. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh! oh. Uh, this might be a match where Chowie's just gonna have to use referee discretion here and uh, just call this, because uh, um, they literally just set this table back up, and now Xander Mercer is looking to take care of it. And it's not even um, the Spanish announced table for fuck's sake. And how many times is Xander gonna fucking Jesus Christ? Uh oh. Oh my God. Uh oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Straight through the table again. <sighs> I think this guy thought he was signing up for Adam Page's weekly squash match. I think he got the wrong competitor. Uh, <laughs> I might have put down the wrong name. Oh. Oh, God, just dropping the steps on Bryson's ankle. Well, if he wasn't broken before, he's broken now. Uh, I think... Oh, Jesus. Do we need to call the police? Um, well, Xander's already been arrested twice, so yeah. I mean, if he gets arrested a third time, he might come after us, though. So, maybe not. Um, let's let's not call the cops. Okay. Actually, yeah, yeah, call the cops. Let's just to be safe. I, fuck, I don't want to go to jail. Call the cops. We see what happened to Ben in jail. Call the cops. All right, I, I'll be right back. Okay. Now Xander Mercer, what the hell? Oh God. Okay, and shall we ringing the bell here? Yeah, Justin, you get the cops called. 
Yep, yep, they're on their okay, way. Good, good, good. Okay, because yeah, we this is uh, this is not um, this was not a wrestling match. I'll put it that way. Here is your winner, Santa. Andrew Mercer destroying Bryson Blade here. Um, that was um, painful to watch. Probably entertaining for some, but Andrew just flexing on. Oh, uh, please leave the ring. Please leave the arena, Xander. Please, no, no, no don't. Uh, okay, you called the cops, right? Because I think we're gonna need them. Um, Unless they called the wrong number. Xander looking under the apron here. Oh god, he's got to steal a chair. But oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and Bryce is barely even. Oh, I, oh, you got the cops. You got the SBU cops though. Hell yeah. Okay, SBU <laughs> coming out here to take care of this shit. Uh, oh, you got Dwight. You got Dwight's number. Yeah, you we call got the big guy. You can call the big guy. Don't uh, call the big I, guy. I, I stay away from the big guy. Yeah, that's probably best. Most people stay away from the big guy. And yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this is um. Uh, well, there's about to be police brutality, oh. but now there's uh, brutality towards the police, and uh, Xander just laid out both of. Uh, and I think Flip Gordon said "fuck this" and left the arena. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's seen who he had to apprehend. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, oh Ice-T! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Not Ice-T! Oh my god, that's the captain of SBU! Oh my god. Xander, Xander Mercer. have mercy! Mercers don't have mercy. That's one thing uh, that we learned a long time ago. And now Xander... Oh no, what the oh. fuck is he doing to Ice-T? Oh Ice no. Oh no. No, Xander, you can't do this. Oh, oh, okay. Thank oh. God. Okay. Uh, I thought I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> I thought he was gonna kill. I thought he was gonna kill Ice T. Okay. Thank fuck. Okay, Xander. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh God. <laughs> oh, oh. I spoke too soon. Um. We get a medic. Out Mom, can I have a popsicle? No, honey. You'll spoil. Your <laughs> Hey parents, tired of those out of control kids throwing embarrassing tantrums wherever they go? At the grocery store, on the playground, even at the dinner table. You've had it with parenting, but wait, there is a solution. Introducing nap time, the latest most effective tool for child tantrum prevention. It's simple, just douse a rag with our patented sleepy time formula, place it over your child's cry hole, press and hold gently for eight to 12 seconds and presto, no more tantrum. I was beginning to think adoption was the only way out. Then a friend of mine introduced me to nap time. It's never been so quiet around here. And Heidi Krueger making her way down to the ring here, representing Gold Money Incorporated. Um, I've heard a, a rumor going around the back that uh, Heidi Krueger's tenure here with Gold Money Incorporated is in jeopardy after that loss to Fatal and Fox last week on SmackDown. So Heidi Krueger has requested this match here tonight and Jess has taken her up on her offer. This is going to be a shindo stick match between Heidi Krueger and Fox one on one. Fox will be making her singles debut here. And I don't know how wise that is considering Heidi Krueger worked her over last show. So this could be a big mistake here. And of course Heidi Krueger seems to think she's got it in the bag obviously, right? That's why she's asked for this. She wants to impress her leader. She wants to impress Gold Money Gregory Murphy. Oh, who wouldn't want to impress their boss? Well, that's a fair point, but uh, hey, I, especially if it gives you more money. And yeah, more gold money, apparently. What the hell that means? But uh, Heidi <laughs> Kruger in the ring here. Do you think he actually prints gold bills or something? I wouldn't doubt it. He's probably got enough gold in the bank. Yeah, fucking cashing out cash for gold. But, uh, and now her opponent, of course, here tonight going to be Fatal's other half here, Jessica Fox, will be in singles action here. It's going to be her first singles match. Uh, of course, the kendo stick match, as you see Fox wielding a kendo stick as she walks down to the ring. Um, that's definitely got to be in 
That's definitely got to be from Fatal, right? That's the reason that this is a Kindle Stick match. I oh, mean, for sure. Fatal did a little rub off here on to Jessica Fox. A rub off? That that sounds bad. Anyway, uh, uh, Heidi Kruger picked up another <laughs> Kindle Stick. Hit the Kindle Stick right across the mid section. Uh, I'm laughing right now, but that is not a joking matter. She's beating the crap out of her with a Kindle Stick. Fox able to counter. Um, and into the corner there goes Heidi Kruger. Um, like you stated, um, Fox has had a bit of an influence by uh, Fatal here. And that's why she's picked a kendo stick match. And yeah. now she's beaten Heidi Kruger. Well, she's literally beaten Beat her ass her with a kendo stick. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the first kendo stick. Um, we already seen four broken earlier. Pun intended. Yeah, pun intended. Oh. <laughs> Splash off the top right there's the Jaggy special. <laughs> Pun intended there as well. Kick out at two. Um, Fox not able to seal the deal there off the uh, diving splash off the top. Not quite got that Dw Dwight level as a flight apparently. And now working over the arm here of Heidi Kruger as Fox. Um, who do you give the advantage to? Because I mean obviously that hardcore stipulation and fatal taught or anything that might come in handy. You know. Uh... Yeah, I think you're right. The advantage would have to go to Jessica Fox. Even even but, uh, though she's a rookie. And now, a snap Yeah, suplex. but, I mean, who she's with and who she trains with is pretty important as well. That is a fair point. And right there, the left's into the face of Heidi Kruger. Kruger on the defensive and now almost shades of a triangle choke here, but does not have the arm hooked in. That is not going to be as effective as the trying to choke hold, which of course is the move Fatal uses. Uh oh, and, uh, oh damn! Nice uh, springboard action there. Yeah. Oh, it's right over the spine. The Kindle stick there from Kruger, and now a rolling oh, elbow. God. Man, she's seeing stars right there as Fox, and of course, and oh, and now here back to the spine. There goes Heidi Kruger, just toying with Fox. Uh, this is Shades of Smackdown here, just working her over. I'm going to work over the fingers oh, of Fox. Got to pick apart the extremities of, dare I say, the Queen of Hardcore yet, or is it too early to call that? Oh, oh no. right there, a spinning back kick from Heidi Kruger. Kruger looking in the match here, baby. Uh oh, this could be it. And. Oh, oh God. That jumping drive-by kick right to the shoulder blade of Fox. Fox could be out. And, ah, uh, barely. Able to hold on. Fox barely staying alive there. Heidi Kruger almost putting her away just like that. And right there, the slap across the face from Fox. Not very wise, in my opinion. I wouldn't be slapping uh, Kruger right now. I'd go for something a little more effective and something that's not going to piss her off as much. And right there, the high knees from Kruger course you've got to thank uh, both these two high pressure here in this match pressure to Ooh. impress fatal pressure to impress the boss so goes both ways here now Kruger out to the floor uh -oh. with a kendo stick this can be good too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she's looking for some payback there but Fox Ooh. able to counter hits her with the uh, the, the uh, fucking behemoth rush there out on the floor of course is Fox's finish now gonna beat Kruger with the kendo stick as well. Oh, and bring a little rumble burst to Heidi Kruger's midsection there. And now Fox looking to follow up potentially. Like you've, you've got to wonder if uh, Fox is gonna pull out something out of the playbook of Fatal right there. Ooh. I just had to say it. Right there, that big spike pile driver that Fatal used to utilize in his offense was pulled out there by Fox. The more God. Fox competes, the more fatal uh, you see in her matches. And now at the, it's going to be a counter there from Kruger. The spike on the floor. It's really hard to see anything over here at the barricade. Thought we got rid of these camera issues a few seasons ago. <laughs> now Kruger sends Fox <laughs> back into the ring. Now Kruger just... Oh, well, <laughs> oh. these are retro shows. That's a fair point. Even the cameraman are retro. And what is Heidi Kruger calling her up for something here? This is starting to look bad. On a big flying kick off the top. Uh, off the ropes into a moonsault. On a combo. And you see Murphy looking on on the stage. 
Watching on, is he impressed so far as the question though, as Kruger takes it to the outside. Well, I don't know about kicks. Murphy, but I'm pretty impressed here. Yeah, Kruger is taking it to Fox there. What a roundhouse. And now he just shots to the face of Fox. And of course, Fatal not out here at ringside after a brutal match earlier. Oh, and wait, Fox able to scout it. He slipped out, and now a forearm to the face, discus style there from a, a ripcord, rather. Now working over the leg of Heidi Kruger is Fox, and now back into that headlock. Looking to wear her down up here on the ramp. Uh, but obviously, you can't win the match outside. It's not false count anywhere. Hopefully, she knows that. Because now she's just working her over on the floor. Which is not going to do much help right now. Rights to the face there from Fox to Kruger. Now looking for more maybe, but no. Now Kruger dishing in the punishment on Fox. This is just turning into a street fight at this point. No more Pretty shots much. from I Kruger. Mean, just throw the rules out the window, huh? Uh, God, and oh, knee right God. to the face. Oh, <laughs> Kruger is beating her ass now at this point. She is maiming her and now more rights to the face from Kruger to Fox. This is shades of SmackDown at this point. And now, what are we looking for? Oh no! Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, this is just <laughs> brutal, man. Oh wait, now Fox finally able to get back at it with some couple shots there. Might have to do a little bit more than that, though. And, oh, it oh. hurts over the knee. That's uh, innovative there from Fox. And Fox now does press on to uh, Heidi Kruger. Kruger able to fight her off, though. Oh, slap. Oh, there you oh. go. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. There's some strikes. There's that back fist, which is definitely shaved the fatal. Now back into the ring, that spinning back fist. Fox Crowded has her Jessica up. Jessica here. Oh, what is she doing? Some sort of roll up here. Legs hooked. Legs hooked on Kruger. Legs hooked. And oh. she's just stole it. Fox is stealing the victory over Heidi Kruger. And Kruger was beating the crap out of her, but Fox sneaking away with the victory. Check out that roll up there. That's, uh, that's shades of an intercontinental influencer here in UWA, funny enough. But of that tilt roll small package right there. Uh, Fatal definitely part of that one. That's taken from his uh, old rival and slash friends playbook. So uh, very oh. interesting move there. Oh, wait, what? Get happy. Oh! Oh shit! Wait, what? Who the fuck? Uh, someone assaulting Heidi, uh, Heidi Kruger up here on the stage now. Or on the ramp, as I stated earlier, her tenure in... Uh, oh my god. Oh! Oh! Incorporated was in jeopardy. And I think, yeah, that's that's world famous indie star Lexi Monais. It looks like she's taken over Heidi Kruger's spot and Gold Money Incorporated from the looks of it. Murphy oh sent her out to take out Kruger. And that she did. Heidi Kruger laid out here. I think that's the last we'll see of Heidi Kruger here in UWA. Yeah. Guess you can say that partnership is over. Well, she got fired. It's the most brutal firing and firing I've ever seen, but uh, unless Gold Money Incorporated making their way down to the ring here, Murphy putting on his jacket for his match. Gold Money, of course, got a tag team match here with Montel Montavious Porter, MVP. Gold Money Incorporated in action here tonight. I'll be curious to see their opponents. But uh, your thoughts on that? Uh, Heidi Kruger getting expelled from Gold Money Incorporated. You know, if you can't if you can't win a match, why why does it uh, why would the boss want you, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a little brutal, but I mean, why looks would like he, he? Why would he pay you his hard-earned gold money if you're not gonna perform? Yeah, it looked like he quickly got a replacement in Monais, so that's interesting. Um, Lexi Monai is getting paid a pretty penny to come here and take out Heidi Kruger for Gold Money Incorporated. And of course, this is going to be the huge tag team match between MVP Greg Murphy versus the Tribal Terror, the Pride of the Tribe, Chief Graham, your United States Champion, 
will be teaming with the Universe Champion Bobby Wade here in tag team action. Graham and Wade, of course, want retribution for that loss on SmackDown. And here tonight, they're going to get the opportunity to get it against Murphy and MVP. You think back to the first three shows we've had so far here in UWA, and Chief Graham's arguably been the most impressive out of all the competitors here. Uh, it's amazing how stacked the talent here in the final chapter of UWA is. Because that United States title is really looked at as a mid-card title, but it is being held by a main eventer here. Which is really rising, or causing the United States Championship to rise up in the rankings, you know what I mean? Especially yeah, this I mean, Chief Graham, he's, he's beaten GMT and Max Fatal in the first ever WrestleVerse match main event match. That is true. Uh, and that is a debut match as well here in UWA. Uh, that is definitely a callback there, but nonetheless, now his partner, none other than the Universe Champion, representing the Bennett Coalition here is Bobby Wade. Which, of course, we've seen Wade pick up a victory in singles action on Murphy on Raw. And that big one-on-one, -on -one, of course, we will see the rematch at Shangri-La. Murphy has earned the right to face Bobby Wade for the Universe Championship. That is going to be a two out of three falls match. That is going to be huge. But for right now, we've got a tag team match. Wade and Graham versus Murphy and MVP. Of course, Bobby Wade. Vincent Bennett's got to be very happy with him. Ben does because Bobby Wade is the first person under the tutelage of Ben to actually win a world title. So big respect there to Bobby Wade. And uh, of course we've seen on Raw the uh, assault that they put on Bobby Wade, which is the reason Bobby Wade has been aligned with Chief Graham here over the past few weeks. They're not really friends, they don't like each other. Bobby Wade's not a good guy, not at all. But when, you, when someone has a common enemy, that forms alliances. Bobby Wade's the only guy? The only guy, yeah, that Ben's ever had and won a world title, yes. Huh. You know? Are, are, you, are you insinuating something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he, this guy's just been here forever. And he's only got one guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MVP uh, and Chief Graham, that's not the point. Uh, bells rung there, and now MVP, you're saying Ooh. Ben's a bad coach. Right there, Chief I didn't say that. Uh, that's what you're insinuating. MVP starting off strong here against the United Ooh. States champion, Chief Graham. Big power bomb. MVP, man, is someone who's been here from day one, too. And Oh, Graham, Graham looked Wait. to miss uh, Murphy in the face there. He looked to take a cheap shot. But you think about the history between Chief Graham and uh, Craig Murphy, I mean, they definitely have a long, illustrious history with one another. There's a big leg drop there from Greg Murphy. Yeah. These two do not like each other. Yeah, you think about not only their time here, and you, oh, Bobby Wade looking to take a Chief shot, and I think that helped Chief Graham. Uh, obviously, like Ooh. I said, Bobby Wade, not a good guy, so I'm not going to shy away from taking a Chief shot here and there. Couple clotheslines. Wade's never been looked at as a good guy here in UWA until now, but that's simply because oh, I got Graham biting the oh. fingers of gold money. Chief Graham doesn't really fight the fairest either, to be honest. Yeah, and, Chief Graham's always fought a little bit dirty. I yeah, remember well, back in the day where he had that brace. If, if you came from the tribe, you'd fight dirty too. When, the, when that bison comes out for their meal, they got to scrap for it. And right there, Bobby Wade with a falcon arrow. Kick to the spine. Now Murphy back up to the feet. Or back up to his feet. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's likely Red Dead Redemption for Chief Graham every time it's dinner time. There, a slap across the face from Greg Murphy to Bobby Wade. Now he's going to tag out. In comes MVP. Montel Vontavious Porter, the legal man for the tag team. Um, who do you think has the advantage in this tag team match? Um, I know it's tough to say because Gold Money they have 
two other people that aren't at ringside. That is in true. In their faction. But, however, on the other side, we have two uh, high-caliber champions. Yeah, so it's I tough mean... to say who, who would have the advantage in this match. Bobby Wade and Chief Graham, yeah, as you stated, are like an A, they're an A-list team if they were an actual tag team. And right there, Bobby Wade lifting him up right there, a knee right to the spine off the backbreaker. Seeing Bobby Wade and Chief Graham working together is actually kind of cool, to be honest. Right there, a However, shot to the I, face. If yeah. I had to give somebody an advantage, it would be Gold Money Incorporated because they're an actual unit. Because they just did that, too? Right yes. They're a power bomb to the floor, uh -oh. Murphy to the top rope. Murphy. Going big oh, with it. Shit. Huge diving elbow to the floor onto Bobby Wade. Yeah, and I don't know if Bobby Wade's ever been a team player, to be honest. I mean, when he was teaming with Mercer in the Bennett Coalition, they didn't work together the best. Uh, Bobby Wade's always kind of been a singles guy. The same with Graham. Although, except for Graham's small, ex small stint in the uh, connection, which uh, some people don't like to talk about. But uh, Murphy now walking around the apron here. Like I said, the history between Murphy and uh, Chief Graham is definitely rich. Uh, those two do not like each other. They were part of the Extreme Mayhem, the final Extreme Mayhem match that ended in a draw. Big clothesline there from Bobby Wade. And uh, that would actually see the uh, tides turn for the personality of Chief Graham, which would bring this dark Chief Graham that we know now. Much more dangerous, much more deadly Chief Graham with that guillotine choke. Even before UWA was a thing, these two never really liked each other. Back in, uh, shout out, ACWF. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a long time history between those two throughout multiple companies. It's quite ridiculous, to, or it's quite awesome, really, to see them in the ring here on wreckage on opposite corners. But uh, nonetheless, here, Bobby Wade with a big DDT, and of course, the lineage of MVP here in UWA as well. He's an, he's an original as well. And, of course, then you've got Bobby Wade, the Universe Champion. So this is a star-studded tag team match. Now, Graham has MVP up to gut break or the gut buster there into the senton from the Chief. Um, as we know now, Graham will be facing Colt Shields as well at Shangri-La for the United States Championship. Your thoughts on that match? Ooh. You know, that's going to be... Uh pretty brutal fight is what I'm expecting it to be for him biting the fingers of MVP yeah it's it's probably going to be a point. bit of a scrap yeah because we've we've seen how Colt Shields fights uh, we've seen him manhandle uh, Doug show inside locked in pretty yes. impressive oh shouts out Nitro there another one of Chief Graham's old rivalry Ooh. rivals back to back oh he's going back third to back time. to back <laughs> to back Oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this. <laughs> He's... Oh. What the hell was that move even called when Chief Graham did it? Shouts out to GMT right there with the swing to the 70s. I can't remember what the hell. I guess it was the swing back to the TP or something like that. I mean, I don't think I don't think that's um, acceptable in today's climate. But uh, Chief Graham with the uh, swing back to the 70s there on MVP. And now MVP looking for a move. A fisherman suplex on the floor. Chief Graham shouts out to the tribe there with that swing back to the 70s. Shouts out to his old time friend GMT as well. A legend here in UWA. And now lifts him up. MVP in control. A nice fisherman suplex in the ring. Lots of old school shout outs here tonight. We've seen ones to GMT. We've seen ones to Brody Lee. I appreciate that on SmackDown or on Re on Wreckage Retro, and now uh, Greg Murphy gonna send Chief Graham into their corner. Maybe look for some double team action, but Chief Graham counters. Yeah, of course, still to come we have the two the uh, double main event, which of course Blackgrave picks uh, Page's opponent. Page picks Blackgrave's Cha Ching from Gold Money Gregory Murphy right there. The the soul food to the face of Bobby Wade. This could be it. Oh. Potentially. Graham not even trying to help him there. Like I said, Chief Graham and Bobby Wade aren't necessarily what? friends. Oh, and, oh. oh. <laughs> Murphy, I'm what not sure hell? what the hell was going on there. A bit of miscommunication between uh, Greg Murphy and uh, Chief Graham. And now right there, back elbows to the face. 
of Bobby Wade. That's what I was getting at earlier. Murphy and MVP with the advantage because they're a, an actual team unit, whereas these two are just kind of put together playmaker. in this match. Oh! Playmaker for Montel Montavious Porter for the win. And no, Bobby oh. Wade kicks out at two. Yeah, um, one thing I will take note on too, um, I don't know if you remember, but they, way back when we were extending the tag team division, uh, GMT, or not GMT, Greg Murphy and MVP were put together as a tag team way back then too. So, which is exactly why these two are working as a unit so well, because they have that long time history back in 2017 as a tag team. So this is not the first time that Murphy and MVP have been paired together. They just coexist so well. That right is precisely. Now, MVP, that is precisely MVP. why MVP was the first pick in Gold Money Incorporated. And oh wait. Okay. Whoa. Uh, MVP. The agility. Oh my God. Play MVP. the day. Montel Vontavious Porter looking like a baller right oh. now. <laughs> Only for a two count though. What a match highlight right there. That's the better. Agility by MVP. Better an instinct from MVP too there to counter that right into the play of the day. And now right into an Emerald Flosion. That running driver from MVP, that could be it. No. Quick covers here by MVP. Pretty smart. It's what a lot of people don't take into consideration the veteranship of Montel Vontavious Porter here in UWA. Just because he hasn't had the most Ooh. success when it comes to gold, but MVP is definitely a star-studded talent here. Now another Falcons arrow from Bobby, Bobby Wade. It's going to stun Montel Vontavious Porter. Tag out. In comes the Chief again. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, guillotine choke. Guillotine choke. And up. Murphy. Murphy with the save. Murphy might want to make, try to uh -oh. make a save again. And Mr. Mr. Chowie busy with the, the interference here with the Bobby Wade and Greg Murphy. Yeah, but uh -oh. yet again, a, a elbow Ooh. drop. Yet again, we're seeing uh, MVP and Murphy working, be working better as a unit, though, than Chief Graham and Bobby Wade. So that was a very good call earlier, talking about the uh, tag team continuity between Gold Money Incorporated versus Chief Graham and Bobby Wade, this makeshift alliance. Which, this makeshift alliance is really only made on the fact that they both hate Gold Money Incorporated. <laughs> oh, Montel is slamming his face into the canvas. You gotta assume we're getting towards the end of this tag team match, and right there we're looking for some players' boot uh -oh. action here. Drive by oh. from MVP. Looks like his head bounced off that bottom turnbuckle. Yeah, which that was not good for Fatal earlier. We'll see if it's the same can be said for Chief Graham as Graham is in trouble here. Gold Money Incorporated, no. Where the hell is? Oh. Well, we're seeing Murphy Murphy's over there laid outside. out. Yeah. I was well, wondering was. where he was at. What's he doing? Crossface. Oh. It looks like crossface, cross yeah. Bobby Wade there. Montel. Kick to the face. Oh. Oh, nice block there, but Bobby Wade, not the legal man, he needs to get his ass out of the ring. Yeah, Bobby Wade spikes MVP. Chowie being very lenient here on this tag team match. So Bobby Wade's still in the ring. Chowie not doing anything here. This is why we need Mr. Muscles. Oh, and I counted there from Bobby Wade again, and definitely giving uh, the advantage to Chief Graham now. And now, what is he? Oh, big power oh. bomb here from Graham. Graham with some serious upper body strength. I don't know if you've noticed how stacked uh, Chief Graham is on his upper half. I mean, it, it looks a little like, uh, as it looks a little disproportionate, in my opinion. Chief Graham is freaking jacked though through the shoulders. Oh. Which is why that guillotine choke is so Jeez. deadly. Yeah, Chief Graham doesn't play around in the gym. Yeah, at least not on arm oh. day. Oh, sh what the hell? Oh, and a bite right to the head. That is uh, not legal at all, but a uh, tag out. Apparently, Chowie didn't see it. Uh, I mean, Chowie is probably used to this in Japan. <laughs> Tajiri and all. Yeah. <laughs> and now uh, Bobby Wade with rights to the face. It's not Chow Japanese he's operating rules, under... though. <laughs> he's yeah, operating yeah. under Japanese Yeah, he's operating <laughs> under Japanese rules. I need to have a conversation with Chowie at the back when we after the show. This is not Japan. <laughs> now stop to the lake. 
We've got some Tokyo Drift up here. Oh, now a play of the day there again from MVP to Bobby Wade. MVP in control now. In this New Japan style match, apparently. Uh, MVP just. Oh, MVP chilling. For a prime opportunity. And he's a baller. He don't play around. Kick to the spine from MVP, and now MVP looking for another submission hold here on Bobby Wade. He's got a camel clutch on the floor applied here on Bobby Wade. MVP in firm control of this match. Chief Graham Listen hopping up. off the apron. And, and then that, that Graham now attacking, but things have the come on, shall we get control of this match? Things have broken down here. Nick what? Richards is out here. Nick and Hollow have spilled into the ring. This has just turned into complete chaos here. And <laughs> where's Mr. Muscles when you need him? Chowie has lost complete control of this match. Oh man, it uh, yeah, this just turned into a brawl. Yeah, I don't even know who the legal men are at this point, to be honest. Um, Hollow and Nick Richards aren't even part of this match. But this is spilled out to the floor. the match even still going? I didn't hear the bell. Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, I didn't hear a bell. I thought I seen, uh, I thought I seen MVP tapping out Bobby Wade on the floor, but I didn't hear a freaking bell, so I guess the match is still going. They need to get MV they need to get, uh, Delson Hollow and Nick Richards out of this arena. Because they're not even supposed to be out here. It appears as though they've been fighting ever since the hardcore title match. Which we need to get better security out backstage and clearly in the ring too. As this is broken out and spilled to the floor now. MVP and Chief Graham both in the ring, but everyone else is on the outside. Chowie, do you even know what's going on? Oh my god. Oh! oh. <laughs> Massive headbutt by MVP. As Murphy and Bobby Wade fighting here on the outside. This is just completely broken rat. MVP going for the ball and elbow. Uh, 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 ball in. Wait, wait a minute. Bobby Wade, oh. Bobby Wade caught MVP out of the ball and elbow. And oh, the, uh, the locked and loaded from Bobby Wade, the universe champion. And yeah, there we go. Shall we? <laughs> is that even a real win at that point? Uh, like I is said, it? I'm going to have to have a talk with uh, Chowie after the show I thought it was New Japan Pro Wrestling but apparently it's DDT Pro Wrestling because that was just a freaking train wreck but um Bobby Wade I get, technically wasn't Wade the legal man I mean him and MVP were the last ones on the floor you know so, if I'm being honest I have no clue what happened in that match who the legal men the were. Lies in nap time's revolutionary fast asleep formula. Developed no, nap time. by military trained scientists, doctors from NASA, nap time's powerful molecules rush to the child's brain on contact, gently inducing instant tranquility. This is chloroform. Already put those wallet draining crap factories out on the street? That's okay. Nap time works in any situation. On the golf course. An awkward blind date. I had a really good time tonight. It even works on pets. After we had our first child here, we regretted it almost immediately. We didn't know that she'd cry so much. <laughs> Talk about defective. But thanks to nap time, our little Samantha here hasn't made a noise in weeks. <laughs> I keep her in a shoebox. <laughs> Anywho, um, nap time. Oh, no. Order at your local store. Uh, or don't. But um, the next match on the card is uh, the women's match, which is going to be Kelly Adams one on one with, uh, I believe, um, who the hell is Kelly Adams fighting on this show? And that time just confused me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, find out who approved of these uh, commercials. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Kelly Adams in one-on-one -on -one action here with Demi Dynamite in a champion versus champion match. Uh, I was finally able to regain my composure on that time. Um, I'm not sure that's legal in stores. No, it's not. I mean, unless Bill Cosby made it. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Kelly Adams is making her way into the ring here. Kelly Adams one-on-one -on -one with Demi Dynamite. Um, in a champion versus champion match here after that big tag team match, which just ended in, oh, that was a clusterfuck. 
But um, nonetheless, uh, apparently Bobby Wade and Chief Man picked up the victory. Um, this is why I like Chowie over the SmackDown ref, because at least he, when it turns into clusterfuck, it uh, goes the right way. Fuck Gold Money Incorporated. But uh, nonetheless, Kelly Adams is in the ring here, and fuck your stupid white suit that you got from him, too. But, uh... <laughs> hey, man, that suit, that suit was expensive as hell, and it fit like a charm. All right? Yeah. The best uh, fitting suit I've ever gotten. With... I, I, this UWA money, it ain't nothing compared to gold money. I'll tell you that. Yeah, but is it comparable to Virgil's fuck money, though? You should have to ask El Hondero. <laughs> but um, anyways, champion versus champion match here between Kelly Adams and Demi Dynamite. Um, honestly, I'm going to give my pick first here in this one. You know who my favorite women's competitor is? It's Demi Dynamite. So I'm going to go with Demi. Um, I, I know who you're going to pick, so we're going to be at odds well, here for this match. It's not about favorites. It's about skill and oh what they can do in the ring oh shit and demi able to roll out of the way what a sequence there between dynamite and kelly uh kelly went for that moonsault after demi missed and demi able to roll out of the way and uh this is definitely going to be a fast-paced women's match here from what we've seen so far so so who's your pick then demi or kelly adams uh it's got to be kelly oh <laughs> Yeah, so that, <laughs> that whole speech about what they can do in the ring, just, yeah, that went out the window. No, okay. because Kelly is more, uh, skilled. Skilled? In what asset? Um, you know, performing. Performing? Uh, performance. Performance, Cardio. yes. Is performance. that what you're going to say next? Yes, performance. Cardio, yeah. Performance yeah, yeah, in, yeah. A, uh, in a totally PG way, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Matter of fact, uh, Kelly, Kelly is uh, my personal trainer. Oh, is she? That would explain yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demi Dynamite to the floor looking for her Corona. <laughs> Kelly Adams moves out of the way. Uh, as much as I'm trashing Kelly here, Loki, I mean, she is a good competitor. And now going after the knee there of Demi Dynamite is Kelly Adams. And what a clothesline. She teach you that, too? Uh, she taught me a lot of things. <laughs> but yes, what, that was one of them. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, uh, Demi Dynamite hops over, or De uh, Kelly Adams hops over Demi Dynamite. That's one thing Kelly's got, oh, she kicks her in the ass there. Yeah, that's what Kelly gets. I mean, she's probably used to getting hit there, though, to be fair, uh, in a different sense. But uh, and now a bulldog there from Kelly Adams to Demi Dynamite. Nicely done, Bulldog. Oh, now this shit from Kelly Adams. Kelly is just, she's something else. So now Kelly Adams going to the top rope here. I say. Shut up. Diving headbutt into the cover here by Kelly Adams. One, two, and no, that's a two count. Yeah, I hope Demi Dynamite beats the shit out of her in this match. I'm going to love watching that. Knee lift there, <laughs> another knee lift. My oh, disdain for Ke Kelly Adams just grows oh. week after week. Right there, a, a uh, flying um, wheelbarrow um, bulldog there. Now, Demi, Demi. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. The height on that, that moonsault. Yeah, get her dynamite. Standing star press. No bias. No bias at all. No, no, no. Not at all. No. Not at all. Another star no. press. Uh, Kelly gets her knees up this time, though. And this freaking... These wicked oh. clubs here. Uh, Kelly's got... Oh, no. Oh, fuck off, Kelly. And now more shots to the chest there of Demi Dynamite from Kelly Adams. Kelly Adams looking to cave in the chest of Demi Dynamite here. Oof. Kelly, obviously one of the stronger competitors in the women's division. She's quite large and quite uh, muscular compared to all the other women's competitors. Mm -hmm. She's uh, definitely does a lot of training and now a standing star press or a standing uh, Spanish fly I should say on the floor right into the star press Nicely done from Demi Dynamite um, I would argue Dynamite has Dynamite the speed has and the athleticism advantage, but then again Kelly Adams was a um, gymnast 
at an Olympic level too. So I mean, she does have that background, which is what saved her here in this uh, women's division throughout the years. Of course, these are the two um, veterans, the two originals. What's up? I thought something was going to happen here. Well, it might be. I hope that something that happens is Kelly Adams gets pinned here. That'd be great. Mm. And right there, a dragon suplex right on her neck. So then you can shut up about the stupid fascination with Kelly Adams. Right there, an hey, elbow it, across the arm. Hey, what? I mean, it, it's just, it's not a fascination, all right? It's just, it's just business, all right? Yeah, and Demi Dynamite's just business so far here on Kelly Adams that she's about to pin her stupid ass. Oh. oh, well, never mind. Not quite, Two not count. quite. Kelly's used to kicking out of a lot of things, apparently. Now, Demi Dynamite to the top rope here. And uh, Kelly, Kelly trying to get up. Oh, my God. Oh no. Oh. oh, no. Kelly got the knees up. Dynamite was looking for that firecracker. Now, now, now Demi might be in trouble here. Kelly looking for the glitz and glamour. Oh. And oh. Ooh. Jesus, that is a brutal move right into the turnbuckle there by Kelly Adams. It's actually the move that won her the triple threat, I believe. And got her into the title match and ooh, two count. Of course, Demi Kelly Dynamite. looking for what? Don't oh. don't talk bad on Demi. What the, what the fuck were you gonna say? Yeah, I mean, she's she's hanging uh, in there. Hanging in there. She was dominating the yeah. majority of this match, and now yeah, Kelly well, Adams. Oh no, submission like hold. Uh, not very good. Submission hold here by Kelly Adams to Demi. Ah, uh, Demi's yeah, yeah. tapping. Shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Oh god. Well, son of a bitch. Anyway, um, Kelly Adams defeats Demi Dynamite here on Wreckage. Um, I'm not too happy about it, but uh, Kelly picks up the victory. I mean, it was a fair win. Fair win. I mean, she's still a whore, but it was a fair win, nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> and that's all I'm going to say there. There's fair. There's fair. And Kelly is whatever you think she is. Probably not fair. <laughs> but I know that Kelly Adams picks up the victory here over Denny Dynamite, as much as I hate to say it. Kelly Adams is your victor. And we are ready for the next match here as Ricochet is about to go head to head with Delson Hollow here in this next contest. Oh, hey, uh, uh, don't worry about it. I gotta, I gotta take it. I'll be right back. The fuck money, baby. What the fuck are you for a ring? Yeah, yeah don't, you don't worry about it, all right? <laughs> okay. Uh, Justin's leaving to take a call on the show. Very professional, Justin. It's during, it's during your freaking. This is a wrestler from your home state, and you're taking a call during his entrance. Kind of rude. But nonetheless, Ricochet making his way into the ring here. He's going to be in one-on-one -on -one action with Delson Hollow. The outlaw Delson Hollow is going to be in action here. We've seen him attacking Nick Richards earlier. We have now put a ban on Nick Richards and Hollow coming in contact before their match on Mayhem, which is signed now for Mayhem. My show, I'll promote this now while Justin's not here to hear it, but my show on Mayhem, Delson Hollow, Nick Richards, one-on-one -on, -one on Mayhem. They are now in a not, no contact clause until that match, though. Of course, if they are to attack each other, neither will be in the hardcore title match. So this will keep this match clean as Delson Hollow is going one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet here. The outlaw Delson Hollow making his entrance. Of course, we've seen Hollow return on SmackDown at the very end of the show, taking or putting the SmackDown on Gold Money Incorporated. Delson Hollow found Nick Richards in the ring on SmackDown and put a bean on him. Of course, it's funny, that huge triple threat match is going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. Of course, Fatal has issues with both competitors, but he has respect for Hollow, which is the difference between Hollow and Nick Richards. Of course, Hollow has no respect at all for Nick Richards, and Nick Richards has no respect for anyone other than Greg Murphy when his head's up his ass. So... Nonetheless, Delson Hollow is going to be in one-on-one -on -one action here with Ricochet. We're going to see exactly what the outlaw has. He was put on the shelf by Gold Money Gregory Murphy for the last few months. 
Hollow is officially back in in-ring action here tonight on Wreckage. And we know Hollow will be added to that hardcore title three stages of the hell match. It's going to be interesting. All right. Yeah, what was that? Oh, uh, that was actually uh, Lance. Oh, it was Lance. He, uh, he, yeah, he called me. He he realized that uh, he was uh, sorry about canceling on showing up tonight to do commentary. Um, and to make it up to me, he offered for me to uh, walk down to the ring with him at Shangri-La when he fights your stupid-ass brother. Stupid ass brother, you mean when my stupid ass brother beats his ass? That's what you're trying to say. That's what you mean. Uh, that's, right? that's not what I mean. Oh, I think no. that's what you mean. That's definitely what you mean. But anyway, me being the forgiving soul that I am, I accepted. And at Shangri La, I will escort Lance down to the ring. Oh, you're going to escort Lance down to get his ass kicked. That's great. Delson Hollow now working over Ricochet here. The Kentucky duo back together again just to get their ass kicked by Missouri. It'll be great. Right there, stomp the midsection. That is, uh, of course, Hall or Lance is going to go one on one with my brother, um, who he rudely attacked Ooh. on SmackDown for no reason. Uh, he will be going one on one with my brother at Shangri La in a backyard barn burner, is what they're calling it. I don't know what the fuck that means, but <laughs> there a, uh, man, I, big... I'm, I'm from Kentucky and I don't even know what it means. We're going to find out. We'll find out at Shangri-La. Oh, oh, God, what a Pele kick from uh, Kentucky's own Ricochet. So, I mean, what do you got, what do you got to say about that? About this match right here? Uh, well, I'm the one who booked it, and I think it's going to be an excellent match. Yeah, it'll be a good way we got to get Hollow back in. Yeah, we got Hollow <clears throat> in, a, in a singles match here on Wreckage where he got his claim to fame. Sleepy Hollow, I would argue it was Mayhem, but you can say what you want. Um, and now a Dragon Sleeper in on Ricochet. Of course, Hollow was a real star when he switched over to Mayhem, you know. But uh, <laughs> And uh, right there, uh, Ricochet going to send uh, Delson Hollow into the corner. A little bit of throwback oh, to the Brand go. Wars. <laughs> right there, Ricochet uh, Pele kick from Ricochet. Of course, Mayhem will be the next show. Are you going to be on uh -oh. commentary with me for that? Oh, Pele kick. <laughs> Different Ricochet. Uh, you know, I got I got uh, some things I got to take care of. Oh, yeah, better things to do. I see. Uh, yeah, right yeah, there, yeah. a uh, Phoenix oh. Lights from uh, Ricochet to Delson Hollow. You know, I got that thing with Kelly and... Uh, oh, yeah. And, and I got a... National Turkey rehearse, Confederation. Got to rehearse our entrance at, at Shangri-La. You know, yeah. just busy, busy, busy time. Bunch of rehearsals at the Breckford, uh, Recreational Center, huh? Super kick there from uh, Ricochet into the 450 <laughs> splash. And, uh, ooh, right there, shot right to the face, right into the backstabber from Ricochet. Ricochet doing pretty good so far. Oh, so, you surprised. Why, surprised. why do you seem surprised? Because it's Delson Hall. <laughs> well, Ricochet's... Oh! 630 right there, looking to put him away. Nicely done there from Ricochet and Hollow in trouble with kicks Ooh. out of two. Ricochet's always been dominant on wreckage. Hollow came out here very scrappy. He was very strong in the early going, but Ricochet able to make a comeback here. Overhead kick, Hollow looking to follow up with something. Ricochet able to scout it. Ricochet DDT, no. Delson able to fight out of it. Oh, Ooh. not able to make any momentum here is Delson Hollow. Counter for counter. Oh, hold that thought. Oh, this gets right hand oh. in the face. Ooh. You know, he switched it up. I thought he was going Hollow Valley Driver, but decided to go for a discus punch. And now one in the chamber out of nowhere uh -oh. here from Delson Hollow. And that could very well be the uh, match closer here. And oh. oh, not quite. Ricochet gets the shoulder up. This match will continue. And Ricochet really trying to keep that lightweight division alive, huh? Now we're looking for a Hollow Valley driver oh, from Delson Hollow. And that right there might just shut down Ricochet's momentum. And kick to the midsection. Hollow rolls through. Sleepy Hollow walked in. Sleepy Hollow is in on Ricochet, and Ricochet taps oh. out. 
That's what I thought. Well, Kentucky all submits. good things come to an end. Just like they're going to lose to Missouri. That's some awfully big words. It's like, that's like some state warfare right there. <laughs> 450 Splash. <laughs> that's the, it's the new Civil War. Could have named it that. That would have been good marketing. Civil War 2. Nice win there for Hollow. It's going to be a civil war on Mayhem, or at least a war, rather, when Hollow walks up with Nick Richards on Mayhem. Can't wait for that. Nice win there for Delson. Momentum building for Hollow. Oh yeah, heading into that triple threat hardcore three stages of hell match, which is going to Call now and we'll send you your very own 24 ounce bottle of nap time solution for only 23 easy payments of $1.99. But wait, there's more. Act quickly and you'll also receive the all new Dream Sack absolutely free. It's compact and portable for those on the go tantrums. Just cover it, tighten it, and forget about it. It's that simple. We can't breathe good. So if this looks familiar, I feel pregnant. <laughs> then don't wait. Order today and join the millions of Americans who just can't stop saying. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Nap time, when they just won't shut up. Nap time is not legal in the following states. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, now that nap time's over, um, <laughs> I don't think it's legal in your state, Justin. I don't think it's legal in my state either. <laughs> but nonetheless, Adam Page making his way down to the ring for this big double main event. The Intercontinental Champion is in action here tonight on Wreckage. Uh, Adam Page. Um, I don't know what to make of Adam Page anymore. He's. <laughs> He's probably the best wrestler, pound for pound, that's ever stepped foot in a UWA ring. But his attitude, I just don't get it. Yeah, you know, I would agree with that. Um, however, yeah, he's just avoiding any kind of competition to prepare for this uh, once-in-a-lifetime match against Black Rage. Yeah, and in my opinion, he's been an asshole <laughs> up until this match, I mean, which uh, you've got to agree with me, you were pissed on Raw, so I mean, and then yeah. it's just been more ridiculous past that, so. Yeah, so I made sure of it tonight that these two are not, these two are not uh, taking it easy. Yeah, they're not, especially on a, oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> A very fitting person for Black Grave to pick and think about the wars Black Grave's had with the sadistic son of a bitch. So, picking Randy Orton for his opponent is very on par for Black Grave. Yeah, um, the sadistic son of a bitch, Randy Orton, is a pretty, pretty strong pick to go against Adam Page. He's got his work cut out for him. That's for sure. Randy Orton, um, definitely have a mixed, uh, I definitely have mixed feelings towards Orton. He was the face of mayhem for me for a good season until that unfortunate shit at the draft, where it became the pure wreckage championship, but we're not going to talk about that. That was literally the worst time ever in UWA history. But, uh, uh, I would disagree. I bet you would. But, um, and uh, Randy Orton is back on wreckage here tonight. Losing Randy Orton in the draft, though, is probably the worst thing that could have happened to me. But ironically enough, these two that are competing right now were the two that switched places in the draft. So, they crossed shoulders, they crossed oh. past for a few seconds back then. Now they're finally going head-to-head -head here. I don't think Randy Orton's ever fought Adam Page. Page lands on his feet, shot to the face there from uh, Page to Orton. Do you remember of any time? I don't remember any time where Randy Orton's actually fought Adam Page one on one in the ring. Uh, I can't recall a time that it's ever happened, so this might be a first. And and you know, you think back to why that is. 
whenever Adam Page switched to Mayhem, Randy Orton switched to Wreckage. They were never on the same brand together. Now Page to the top rope, five star F and elbow from Adam Page. Of course, whenever Randy switched to Wreckage, he was matched up against Black Brave, who was still on Wreckage. And that's why they have a history and Page does not. Ooh. Their nicely uh -oh. done move and Orton, Orton giving him a receipt there to Adam Page and now Orton choking out Page on the canvas here. Orton gonna stomp on Adam Page's arm, look to work it over a bit. Now punches to the face. Orton just working over Adam Page. Seems to have certain parts of the body he's targeting. Uh -oh. oh, nice suplex there by Orton. Yeah, Orton now working over the face with cross faces there. Randy Orton cross face and Adam Page. I had a little bit of technical difficulties there, but it's fixed now. <laughs> Randy Orton lifts up Adam Page, looking to follow up Page counters with a kick to the midsection. Oh, God, a big leg drop there from Page. You know, you would think, uh, I don't know why the fuck I gave you the freaking main mic. I got Evan Rude's shitty mic, and then it just caused issues over here. But you it's, know, it's because it's because it's my show, all right? Yeah, That's apparently. That's why I get the main I, mic. I get the shitty mic now. That's great. And now a four-leg clover here by Adam Page locked in on Randy Orton, working over the ankle of Orton as Adam Page. Orton able to fight out. Randy Page going back and forth now. Oh God! <laughs> well, oh. that's uh, that's vintage Adam Page. Seeing that there, that eye rake, and now just the punches to the face from Page. Now going to work over the arm of Randy Orton. Page in control on Randy. I mean, what's your take? Oh wait, what? I might have to wait a second for that comment. Uh, Page. Oh shit! Double the meteora. Me yeah, off the top rope. What's your uh, thoughts on this match so far? Hold on a second. Two count. Uh, thoughts on this match? Uh, I mean, it started out kind of slow, but uh, slowly but surely picking up speed here. Adam Page in control. Yeah, Page. Oh, come on. Not again. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Orton. Orton able to scout it this time, and, oh, well. <laughs> Neither one of these two are able to get a clean, like, advantage on the other, if you know what I mean. They're both yeah, going back and forth yeah. so far. It's very 50 Well, I think, I think I've accomplished what I was going here, going for here, uh, giving the fans exactly what they want, as Jeez. Adam Page is not... Uh, messing around, cover. yeah. Yeah, not cover messing around. And almost with the victory there for Adam Page. Uh, that, of course, the rolling chaos theory just hit by Adam Page. It's probably my favorite move of his now going forward. I mean, that's something oh. new that he... <laughs> Slap across the face there from Randy Orton to Adam Page. And Page now gets hung out to dry on the top rope. Nicely done move here as we're going to get a replay. Uh, you see that rolling chaos theory again. Yeah. And now solid move there. Orton, Jesus. Seen Randy just choke him and just uh, drop him on the canvas there. Now Randy Orton working over the head and extremities of Adam Page again. Um, you think about all the accolades Randy Orton's had in UWA, I mean, he's one of the only few people to hold both the IC and Universe Championships. A, uh, another name that goes into that list is Adam Page, of course. So, gotta take into that's consideration a, the uh, caliber of both competitors. That's quite a unique accolade, not a lot of people have that. It's Adam Page, oh my god! <laughs> what a kick there from Page, and now gonna work over the arm. Of Randy Orton here is the five star savior. And over the shoulder. Randy Orton and now a leg drop across the arm. Nicely done from Adam Page. And Page is gonna work. Targeting with... this arm a lot. Yeah, yeah, I just gonna set up for the Widowmaker? Yeah, the Widowmaker. 
Age five star frog splash off the top. Ooh. One yeah. count there. Yeah. We yeah, have one count now. Paige gonna lift Orton back up. Gonna look to follow up. Hangs him out to dry on the ropes there. Went for the slap. Paige off the ropes. Leg drop missed. Now working over the face of Paige there is Orton. Orton gonna continue to work over Adam Page here. And uh, your thoughts on this match so far with the uh, two competitors here? Who do you think has the advantage at winning this? Page oh, with a huge five star well, right uh, now, golden power Adam ball. Page. <laughs> Wait, one count. Wait, that, that, a one count? <laughs> yeah, Orton kicked out a one. Oh, oh. And now Page is gonna look to make him pay for it. And Page. But yeah, as you stated, Randy Orton's been getting that arm targeted. Oh, oh God. Jesus Christ. Well, he was targeting the arm there. He just targeted Randy Orton's face. The match is picking up now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Paige working with the arm of Randy Orton some more. You see him keep targeting that arm. Snap jab to the face. Of course, Adam Page has always been one to target arms. Of course, that sets up for his vintage Widowmaker. And now... Shades of his, his shades of his mentor here with oh. the backstabber and the ropes. Former mentor. Fair point. Leg drop across the arms. That's what I meant. <laughs> Former mentor at, of Adam Page right there with that backstabber. Now Randy Orton gonna counter with a jawbreaker and big clothesline there from Randy. Randy Orton back in this. Randy Orton definitely wasn't a fan of Adam Page's mentor. I'll put it that way. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sure Randy Orton's not happy getting that move hit on him. He's definitely dealt with it a lot, though. Couple clotheslines, vintage Randy Orton here. Looking to make a comeback. He just targets the head of Adam Page here. And Randy Orton is beating him down now. <laughs> Orton is not happy. Yeah, I, was, I was just about to say, uh, the last few weeks, uh, Orton, we haven't really seen the sadistic side of him, but now I think it's starting to kind of shine through a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think Orton likes Adam Page too much either. Most people don't like Adam Page too much anymore after these last few weeks. And now working over the spine of Page, of course, regardless of the outcome of these matches, we will see the contract sign at the end of the night. Black Grave, of course, holding the uh, Ring Warriors briefcase that got him the number one contendership for Adam Page. We will see that match finally take place at Shangri-La. That has been almost a year in the making at this point. Wow. Yep. What a huge match there to... Uh, what a huge contract signing to close out. Wreckage, of course. That is going to be the main event of night three of Shangri-La. The final match in UWA history will be Adam Page one-on-one -on -one with Black Grave in a freaking Iron Man match. Okay. There we go. Nicely done rolling chaos theory from Adam Page. Is that it? Is, oh. No. You've got to... I want to there. mention this too. The only time Adam Page and Blackgrave have ever clashed, Blackgrave beat Adam Page. Oh, wait, wait, so wait, Page, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's Widowmaker. Widowmaker is in on Randy Orton. Oh, he's wrenching on it. Oh, uh, good call. I think Orton's going to have to tap, man. I don't think he's getting out of this. Oh, oh wait. He lets him go. Orton, Orton, Orton fighting out of it. I think that was it. a... Oh, wait. Oh. Dodges the drop kick there. Man, this is getting chaotic. Yeah, as you pointed out, he didn't tap out. Adam Page let go of him. I don't think Page could hold it any longer. Kick to the midsection. Orton was in that submission for like 30 seconds. And somehow yeah, he it's... didn't tap. Oh, oh dear. Jesus. See that DDT? Fucking hell! Oh, Page that almost right done there. there. Yeah, that, that was brutal. He landed right on his head. Now Randy looking to set up for the uh -oh. kill here. He's thinking RKO, most infamous move in pro wrestling. But what Adam Page, oh. Adam Page scouts it. Now Page is driving and rights into the face of Randy Orton. See, this is the side of Adam Page we've been wanting to see. And now the big leg drop off the ropes. The more violent side of Adam Page is what we need. 
Ooh. Orton hanging in there. Orton, I don't know how, but yeah, just barely surviving. Oh, He's taking a beating. Here we go. Oh! Five star frog splash. Five you know star. that's that's There's mockery to Black to Grave. That is mockery to Black Grave, because that's what Black Grave's been using to win his matches. Oh. Now working on the fingers of Randy Orton is Adam Page. Adam Page is picking apart Randy Orton right now. Oh wait. Oh, right hand oh it's it's Here over. we go. It's over. The looks. LCK looks can kill. Adam Page for the victory here. In for the cover. And yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Adam Page I about said retains. Adam Page defeats Randy Orton. If he does that at Shangri Law, he will retain his Intercontinental Championship. But uh keep in mind he's gonna have to do that for 30 minutes. Because it's going to be a 30 minute Iron yeah. Man. Well, regardless, Adam Page with a deserved and I say deserved with quotes. Uh, deserved to win here tonight. I mean, he did earn it here tonight. Not so much the other weeks. But uh, Adam Page finally putting on his uh, game face for once. Now Page staying out here as Black Grave makes his entrance down to the ring for Black for his match. Of course, who the fuck do you think Adam opponent. Page picked for an opponent for Black From Grave? Los Angeles, California. No, I, it could really be anybody. Who, who would Adam Page Leon pick for an opponent? Is on there. Gotta try to put your. Who the fuck would Adam Page pick? No one liked Adam Page. Who the hell would do? Who the hell would take this opportunity? Well, he can't pick himself. That's one of the stipulations I made certain of. Yeah. Who the hell is Adam Page gonna get for an opponent for Black Ray? Adam Page has no friends anymore. I mean, the first person I would think is, I mean, uh, him and Fagel have a history, but Fagel's already been in a devastating two matches. He's not gonna be him. Yeah, he's not fit to compete anymore tonight. So who the hell would Adam Page pick for an opponent for Leon Blackberry? That's the question here. That's what everyone's wondering. Who would pick, uh, who would want to fight the Viking right now? I mean, it's not like they're going to get an opportunity out of this. They will they literally just have to fight Blackberry. I mean, the match is already set in stone for Shangri La. So regardless of if someone were to beat Black Rave, they're simply going to be out here to try to to main injure Black Rave for Adam Page. Who the fuck would do that? <laughs> Should have guessed this one. Oh. The man that's the most like Adam Page in UWA. Of course, New Japan's own, ironically enough. Mr. Chowie's gonna enjoy this. Uh, Kenny Bye -bye. Omega. <laughs> you think back, the best match probably in Adam Page's career early on was against Kenny Omega. Early on in his career, the one time Adam Page fought Kenny Omega, it was a classic. So, picking Omega is a very interesting pick here, especially considering I don't know if Omega's ever fought Black Brave. I think this is a new uh, one too. No, he's he's fought him before. Has he? Yep. Summer Showdown. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, the the Seattle show. Yes, yeah. the uh, Seattle show. Fought him for the IC showdown. title. That is a good point. And Black Rave retained against Omega. That was the year Omega won the Universal Rumble. Hey, look at that. The GM of Wreckage schooling me for once. <laughs> Adam Page one on, or Adam Page needs to get the fuck out of the ring. This is Black Grave one on one with Omega. Of course, Adam Page is gonna stay oh. out here at ringside. Ring shit awareness one... by Black Grave. Yeah, It'll right off the bat. Omega. So done there. Oh, you know. wait. Already, Omega already bleeding oh in this match. A two count there too as well. Nicely done there from uh, 
already busted open. That was a, yeah, two moves into the match. No, oh, a nice move there from Black Raven as well. Able to connect with a suplex and what the fuck is Black Raven doing now? Uh, he's calling him up. Leon oh. off the top and Omega counters it. I think uh, Black Grave was going for that like uh, clothesline that, that his Uncle Kane used to do all the time, and uh, well, Uncle Kane didn't teach him very well, so Omega was able to scout that. Now uh, Black Grave, of course, Black Grave, the son of the Undertaker. Oh, no, especially done uh, there from Black Grave right into the boot there. That's a nice course, counter. <laughs> a variant of the shipwreck. Omega was able to get out of the way there of that. And now, oh, damn, there's a Dr. Bomb. Dr. Bomb from Omega, Black Grave able to counter. Ooh. Black Grave, again, off the ropes with that springboard forearm. A little bit of deja vu there. And, oh! Omega doing one of his own. Now, oh, no, not quite. And this is definitely going to be a fast-paced match. Um, Black Grave in control, Tiger Bomb. Nice bomb. Ooh, no stomps. I mean, this is going to be a very interesting match. Because Black Rave is a very similar fighter to Kenny Omega, now that I think about it. So this is going to be very interesting. No, you're right. Oh, and he misses the clothesline again. That was badly overshot. He needs to quit trying to be Uncle Kane. Oh. <laughs> if I was Black Rave, I wouldn't be using that move in the, in the Shangri-La match. That's for that sure could be, he is. That could, be, that could be devastating to Black Rave. Yeah, if, he's, if he is to dr dive off and miss something like that, that would be very bad. And uh, nice running her Corona there from Kenny Omega. Omega going to look to... Is it, is it fine with Adam Page being out here? Because Black Rave wasn't out for Page's match. So it's kind of bullshit. But well, he's, oh! Jesus, that, there's, there's a rain trigger from Kenny Omega. That could be it. There are shades of Okada, but only a one count. Fucking hell. Well, so far, there's been no interference by Adam Page, so... Uh, but the presence of him being out there could throw Black Rave off. Yeah, and it's Adam Page. Come on, I mean, this guy's not uh, shied away from being a cheap ass throughout the last few weeks. And now Omega with forearms across the face of Black Rave. Kenny Omega looking to work over Black Rave now, targeting the spine of the Viking. Um, obviously, uh, Omega does Ooh. a nice kick there from uh, Black Rave. Now, what are we, some sort of submission hold here. Looks like an inverted figure four type leg lock of some sort. Just working with the knee of Omega. And you know exactly why you'd target the knee. Think about what move Omega does so much in his arsenal. Oh yeah. Uh, elbow right to the I still, spine. I still can't get over uh, Omega getting busted open two moves into the match. Yeah, Kenny, uh, uh, that, that, that just, was that... out of nowhere. <laughs> That just, that just shows you the strength oh that Black oh Grave has. <laughs> yeah. Black Grave has. Eye patch from Leon Black Grave, and now Black Grave to the top rope. What's he I looking mean, for here? Think about it. Uh, the uh, eye patch and the V trigger are very similar moves, so it's kind of an eye patch versus V trigger match here. Ooh. Wasted way too much time going for that elbow. Seen Black Rave going for like a V-trigger of his own there, but Omega counters, and now Omega gonna drive in the knees into the side of the face of Black Rave. It's like Omega's uh, go-to move is those knee strikes. So uh, Black Rave is definitely gonna want to watch those, and another oh. one of these. This is what busted him open, but oh, apparently not. Hilarious. Omega able to counter. Oh, V-trigger, V-trigger there from Kenny Next Omega. Omega for the victory here, and only a one count, or two count. Uh-oh. Omega calling up Black Rave, looking to put an end to this match. Looking one-winged angel here, one-winged angel, and he plants him. Cover here by Omega. Omega oh. for the victory, and no. That was close. A near fall there. Omega still on the offense. Black Ray with the counter. What is 
Okay. Just trying to wear him down here is now Le Leon. Leon's slowing the pace down. Which, I get it. You don't want to let Omega build up too much momentum. And Black Rave up to the top. Black Rave going to try to reset the pace oh, to his liking. Flash. Oh, that's game over. Kenny Omega's out. Kenny Omega's out. Oh. And, oh, damn, Omega reaching for the skies there. Just barely able to kick out of that in time. Black Rave does not want to let him hit another V trigger. Jesus. The forearm to the face there from Black Rave. Seen enough of those springboard forearms tonight. Jesus, forearm to the face, another shot. Omega, Omega in trouble now. See Black Grave picking apart the back and the spine of Kenny Omega. Yeah, I noticed that. Back to the top. Black Grave. What the fuck is he? Oh! Ooh! Well, that's smart. I was going to say, if he goes for another cane clothesline, it's a bad idea. Oh, yeah, Omega counters. Yeah, well, uh, he is Black Grave. He ain't no rookie. Oh, Black Grave counters. Omega counters as well. Says the main Ooh. event. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh. Into another eye patch there from Leon Black Grave. Lays him out. Yet again, targets the head. Yeah, Black Grave really going for both the head and back combo here for targets. Oh, and now wait. another eye patch. Oh. And that is the third eye patch of the match here. That that's got to do that's it. That's got to do it. Yeah. That's game open. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Black Grave. Black Grave. No, that was a fuck up. And Omega just with a kick right to the face. Kenny's seen enough of that freaking bullshit from Black Rave. Kenny, I think, is pissed off. Omega, this is Omega's first back, match back in the final chapter. Probably only match two. He's not wanting to lose it. Oh. Phoenix Splash. Shouts out Kota Ibushi there. And now in for the shots across the face there from Omega to Black Rave. Mega maybe needs to go V-Trigger one wing and Angel Light. He's not going to pin him there. He needs another V-Trigger, another one wing and Angel, and those knees to the head will definitely soften up Black Grave, though. If you Crap. wonder what Black Grave needs to win. Yeah, I mean, that Frog Splash was no good. Three Eye Patches was no good either. I mean, Black Grave's got to pull something else out of his playbook at this point. Now, stomping on the arm of Black Grave there is Omega. Omega in for the kill, maybe. Oh, God, Dragon Rush. <clears throat> Dragon Rush from the cleaner. And Omega rolled him over, looking to work over the back again of Black Grave. Is Omega going to tap out Leon here? That would be bad, right in the face of Adam Page, too. And there, the Black Grave's uh, IC title chances could be slipping out from his grasp right now. Powerbomb, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh. oh! That's the second V-trigger of the match. Now Kenny looking to go for the kill. Black Grave counters. Leon, Leon, and... Oh, another Jesus. Eye patch. No. This is an eye patch V-trigger match. As we're going to get some highlights let's here. See. Yeah, let's see it again. Event. Jesus. Look at that eye patch. That was brutal. Those V-triggers. One wing and angel. This, this look at all the offense in this match so far. And Black Grave, Black Grave. Wait, wait a minute. Oh no, Omega. Counter. German suplex. What, Kenny, what is Kenny doing next? And he just slams him into the canvas. Omega moonsault Whoa. off the bottom rope. You know, that was some Matrix shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> Kick right to the spine from the cleaner. Now Omega off the ropes again with an elbow drop. Omega, Kenny could be calling for the end Wait. here. Another Ciao, shall Phoenix we? Oh. splash. Shall we almost going the way there? That wouldn't have been good. Yeah. Now another knee right into the spine of Black Rave from Omega. Omega looking to tap out Leon. Black Rave out of it. Black Rave off the ropes. Oh God! Almost hit Chowie there. Both going for springboard attempts, both missing. Oh. Jesus, these chops from Omega. This is coming down to the wire here. Black Grave, the fuck? Whoa. 
Blackgrave lands on his feet somehow. Dips into the offensive. And what is Leon Wait. doing here? Oh, God. <laughs> oh! Damn. Oh, Blackgrave to the top. Omega is stunned. Kenny is not even moving. And <laughs> oh, Jesus. Stomps right to the midsection. That might be game over. That Oh, no. I thought that was it there. Now Blackgrave going after the arm of Kenny Omega. I don't know how Omega's staying in this. Omega. There's a wheel, there's a way. Omega with a chop. He's looking for that cross-legged Ghostbuster. Oh, oh, come on. Omega with the fingers in the eyes. That's shades of Adam Page right there with the eye rakes. I don't think Mr. Chow has seen it. And even if he did, he probably wouldn't even call it. Mr. Chowie hasn't seen a lot tonight, apparently. Uh, right there, working over the knees of Black Grave is Kenny Omega. That's why we need Mr. Ooh. Muscles back on Mayhem. Now Omega lifting up Black Grave. Kicks there from Omega. Wait a minute, wait, wait. a minute. <laughs> oh! Another V-trigger from Omega. And now Dragon Rush. A little bit okay. of flashiness there by Omega. Into the cover. Game over. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Shit. What is it going to take continues. to put... What is it going to take to put these guys away, man? Oh, I think it might be this. I think... Oh, wait. No. Black Wraith no. counters. Omega counters. Either one of these want to let the other guy have the advantage... Maybe Omega going a little you can't escape action, but no, sends him off the buckle. Black Ray fighting out of the corner here. Leon on the defensive. Chop oh. across his chest. That was rough. And now chops him down. Oh, eye patch. Oh, another one. It's like the sixth eye it? patch. Omega's got it. Oh, come on. Omega still kicks out. Omega's got a lot of fight in him. Black Grave, Frog Splash again. Come on, that's got to do it. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Omega kicks you know, out honestly, of a second Frog Splash. I have no clue how Omega is still in this fight. Omega back up to his feet. V-Trigger oh. blocked by Black Grave. Black Grave blocked the V-Trigger into a springboard oh, forearm. Black Grave now putting in a beating on Kenny Omega. Elbow is right to the face there of the cleaner. Now kick to the spine. Black Grave just beating around Omega right now. Jesus, uh, kicks kicks from Black Grave, chops. Jesus! Oh. And he just took Kenny's head off. What a wicked kick. And Black Grave is laying a beating on Omega oh. now. Holy shit. Oof. Black Grave has Omega in a prime position here, and the foot stomp off the top from Black Grave. In for the cover, a little coup de gras for the. There we go. That'll do it. What a flurry there from Black Grave to end that match. That one kick was just. That was nasty. Yeah, man. But, he uh, gave him whiplash or something. Yeah, Omega was freaking out after that. The flurry of offense from Black Ray was enough to finally put Omega away. Those were some brutal kicks. Those educated feet from Black Ray on a good display. Fucking hell. Now, you better get down to the ring for the contract signing because I know you're hosting it. I'll stay here. Yeah, I'll be down there a sec. Hmm. No win there for Black Ray, nonetheless. Oh, Jesus, that kick. Black Grave, uh, and now out here comes Dumbo, I mean uh, Justin, uh, Wreckage GM making his way down to the ring here uh, for the second time in the night. I'm not going to put myself on TV twice, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. Justin should be mic'd up as he's hosting this, but uh, nonetheless. This, this is so ridiculous. Anyway, uh, uh, look, look at look at those arms. 
Yes. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, uh, we'll see how this contract signing goes. It's the first ever contract signing in UWA history, so this should be interesting. But uh, nonetheless, and it's going to be hosted by this person of all people, so this should be fun. We'll see if he can. Uh, we'll see if he can manage to keep control of this contract signing better than Mr. Chowley could control any match tonight. I am here tonight to close the show with the first ever and only ever UWA contract signing between these two men. Now you two have both clashed twice before with Leon winning both exchanges. Adam, your thoughts. This is such a huge match. You've seen me preparing, taking out legends week after week, building to this very moment. I had my fun, now it's time to get serious. I know you think I'm taking this lightly, but I know how good you are. We are hands down the two best competitors the entire history of this company. And we've only really fought once. And you beat me. I've made plenty of mistakes in my career. The biggest one was taking you a little too lightly before. You are a Viking, right? I've been studying up on them. Watched every season. Maybe you can help me with something. What is this Valley Hilia? And how many goat sacrifices do I really need to beat you? You think this is some sort of joke, don't you? I'm the longest reigning champion in this company's history. I deserve to be the one closing out the final show, holding that IC title. I spent years wrestling all over the world, training to be the best version of me I can possibly be before I came here. You were made here. You are by far the biggest UWA bred talent to ever come out of this company. You got trained by two legends, arguably two of the greatest performance of all time and you still lost to me kid i don't know if shangri la is my valhalla but i'll damn sure make it your hell oh strong words from black rave speaking of hell how's your father doing oh. you know the funny thing is i never understood why you were so stuck up all the time then i realized it must be tough when you know you'll never be half the man your father was you can hate me oh. for ending my mentor's career. You killed yours. But don't worry, at Shangri-La, one of us will make him proud. Adam Page with strong words there for Black Rave. Justin might want to get this under control, otherwise this is going to turn into complete wreckage here on wreckage. Uh, Adam Page with some strong Ugh. words there for Black Rave. Guys, speaking of fathers and father figures, there's something I have to tell you real quick. I didn't mention this before, but there will be someone else there come showdown. Make sure things run smoothly. A special guest enforcer. Uh. Oh shit! And it's the UWA legend himself, the face of the universe, the man of the universe, the Intercontinental Influence. It is GMT. GMT is back in UWA. But wait a minute, Black Rave off the distraction of choke slam to Adam Page. Black Rave has laid out the Intercontinental Champion. We got Black Rave. And Justin, you might want to get out of the ring. This is about to get ugly. Black Rave with Page on the table. Adam Page is on the table. Black Rave to the top. And Frog Splash through the table. Now, damn, this is complete chaos here in the end wreckage. See you guys on Mayhem. We got Black Rave. Put Adam Page through the freaking table. GMT is the back in UWA. The Viking Black Rave versus five-star savior Adam Page for the UWA Intercontinental Championship. With GMT at ringside. 